Ooga fucking Ooga cunts, welcome to the Blackman Button, a show named after and in the spirit of uh, Stephen Blackman. Uh, usually we pick a couple channels, we show them out and stuff. Uh, tonight we have been uh, lucky enough to be joined by one of those channels. Uh, Vin and Sori, can you introduce yourselves? I'm Vin. I'm Sori. <laughs> A white and a black together, and they're not fighting. What black <laughs> magic is this? Well, we were, <laughs> we, were fighting, uh, we were fighting a few minutes ago because we were supposed to start 15 minutes ago. But story, sorry, had to stuff her face, which no, that was my fault. You can't blame sorry for that. Thank you. Sorry just rode on the back of me eating I, dinner. I feel like I'm like, like, oh, for 58 as far as like conflicts where people ever agree with me. Yeah, but that's because you didn't say the facts. Mark came um, with the facts. It's because you're an extremely hot woman. No, <laughs> that guy said I need problem. to go to the gym, remember? <laughs> <laughs> that's also true. You're an extremely hot woman who likes to eat. He was just talking about maintaining. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I shot a picture of her in her pink Floyd shirt. And we got we got people from literally like all over the world in our on our Facebook page. So I, I think this guy doesn't understand like... Um, American, American social more. So yeah. he goes, uh, you need to go to gym. <laughs> <laughs> I think he said, yeah, I think he had a, a, a pure heart motive. He was like, that's not healthy. <laughs> you should go to the gym. Yeah, I agree. Everybody was like, fuck you. How dare you? Hey, can I cuss on this? On this uh... Oh, shit. It's, it's called the cuss stream. <laughs> How fucking dare you <laughs> say those foul words? This is a Christian <laughs> channel, sir. Yeah, no, we're Christians. I mean, we really are. We, sh we obviously, you know, I'm not perfect, but we are. But anyway, the guy, the guy goes. I think, I think you're right. I think he was trying to help because he messaged me like two days ago and was like inviting me to. He lives in some Arab country, you know. So he's like, if you ever end up in this Arab country, you know, visit us. So I don't think he was trying to be a jerk. No, I don't think he was either. Yeah, but of course, all the Americans, you know, right? Hyper offended. Yeah. <laughs> We're a yeah, yeah. So, you. sometimes you, you got to realize uh, uh, in some places it's all right to just go up to a chick and say, hey, uh, you're looking a bit fat. Uh, you should get a bit less fat, uh, some weight. Yeah, I think a guy's probably a doctor or something. You know? probably, yeah. So he was like, oh, that's not good for her cholesterol. Yeah, yeah. he's probably worried about your cholesterol. Babe. So I took into what he said into consideration and went yeah. to Chipotle. And, and, yeah, jumped to the car. <laughs> <laughs> Extra Dude, ranch, disgusting. Probably Herbalife salesman. Yeah. <laughs> Who's doing Herbalife? Oh. <laughs> that person we don't talk to anymore. All right. <laughs> Sorry, uh, we're talking too much. It's your channel. <laughs> yeah. Are you supposed to? Uh, well, um, I was just going to introduce everyone else real quick. We got uh, Brockus, Full Metal Pickle, uh, Mark Como. Hola. Uh, uh, I figure we should probably talk about. Uh, your channel first, uh, the one you picked since they're currently here. Uh, what made you pick uh, Ben and Sorry? Uh, they're just an awesome reaction channel, and they, some of their reactions to to some of these metal songs is priceless. Uh, the your reaction to Corn's Daddy was touching and amazing all at once. Well, Vin and Sorry, for those who don't know, what you do, you do a reaction channel. Yeah. Yeah, we react to metal, but we're Christians, so we have our Christian worldview that we kind of bring into the music. That's awesome. But yes, you're, the, uh, you're you're an awesome type of Christian. <laughs> the ones that don't uh, judge uh, us. Could, uh, could, could could you give an example though for uh, like how how you might. Uh, Bring your Christian views into the, the reactions. How we might what? Let's say that again. I'm sorry. Uh, how how you might uh, bring your Christian views into uh, your reactions and stuff like that. Uh, he, he mentioned Corn's uh, daddy. Uh, what's 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 the story with that one? Well, I mean, I don't I don't know if you know the context of that song. Um, but the, the lead singer had gone through a ton of abuse growing up and he told his dad, but his dad didn't believe him. And so, you know, he wrote that song when he was in his twenties. And the crazy part about that song is he basically has a nervous breakdown at the end of the song. Yeah. 
and the producer just kept playing, just let the film play. And I mean, and then there was yeah. so much emotion in that song. Yeah. So sorry is extremely is part of the shtick is that you got a black guy and a white guy. But a white girl. White girl. A girl. Oh, white guy. <laughs> We're really open minded Christian. <laughs> she secretly has a penis. Cox docs. <laughs> right? So like you got a black guy and a white. But the other thing is, is I'm more of like the um the analyst and sorry is just very uh emotional. And so she started crying during the during the um during the reaction. During the reaction. And um you know, we were going back and forth about it. But as far as like our Christian worldview, I mean, you know, it, it <clears throat> the the funnest one was when we do Behemoth, you know, because Behemoth is like, you know, O Father, O Satan, or O Son, and yeah. Ora Pro Nobis Lucifer. And, right. And for me, I'm trying to I'm trying to understand like what what the guy actually saying. Like, let's hear what the guy actually has to say. You know, instead of just being shocked by the fact that, you know, he's supposedly worshiping the devil. Mm -hmm. um, most of these guys aren't even theistic in their understanding of, you know, Satan or anything else. Right. So, like, what's the reasoning behind it? And so, you know, I'll say, like, hey, what's going on here? And you'll have somebody that will post, check this out, read this interview. Um, and then I was able to talk. I was able to, like, you know, figure out how Christianity came to Norway. Yes. <laughs> and it wasn't very pretty. You know, we killed a bunch of people, fucking destroyed temples and then built churches over them. Right. So if that's, that's, how it, that's kind of how it uh, came to everywhere. Yeah. I mean, when it first made its appearance in, right. in Rome and everything, they, they burnt our shit, but I guess we decided, no, nah, now we're going to burn everybody else's shit. Well, yeah, around the fourth century, right, where constant, you know, the, you had the marriage of Christianity and the government with Constantine, and I think that we never really were able to recapture that pure Christianity that you had prior to when we were being persecuted by the government. Like right now, China is going after Christians, right? North Korea is, is going after Christians, and that's kind of like where you get the pure strain of Christianity, where you're kind of forced to live out the Sermon on the Mount and be nice to people. But when you have the power and you have, you know, superior weaponology, and then you go to a different area and people aren't listening to you, you know, it's just human nature. You end up killing them, but you start killing people in the name of Christ. And you got to own it, right? You got to own right, it. But, I mean, they haven't, Christ, Christianity, to be fair, hasn't done that in a long time. Yeah, uh, it's been a long time. I mean, they're not going around murdering as a people whole who don't, has who done don't that. convert and spreading the word by the sword. That's uh, yeah. Well, even back in the day, they weren't the only ones spreading the word by the sword. But nowadays, they're definitely not spreading the word by the sword. And I, I'm just saying, like, they've definitely done some reformation throughout the entire Christian. Oh, well, yeah, it, it was called the Reformation. Yeah. Well, yeah, you had the well. You, you had a lot of things happening, kind of back to back. You had the Protestant Reformation, you had the Enlightenment, um, and then later on, you had the Magna Carta, which definitely affected you know us now. So there are a lot of like real, at least on the Western side of the church, where we kind of said, you know, this killing people thing, not really a good idea, not the best way to convert people to our religion. Um, but you know, the Norwegians suffered horribly under. Um, as far as their introduction to Christianity, right? And so there, there was, and at least in my research, this like growing, like uh, always in the back of your mind, hatred for Christianity and Christian things. And then, you know, <clears throat> mayhem came out and kids started burning churches and all this. And, you know, the, a lot of the psychology of black metal in Norway was about, you know, kind of a social empowerment and a, and a sort of going back to your roots before, you know, the roots of who you were as a people were taken from you by these people, which, you know, so they went the complete opposite side. Um, so anyway, you know, having that background and having that understanding and then listening to the lyrics and just listening to the uh, tradition of black metal was helpful, right? Because it was like, okay, I see where these guys are coming from. I completely get where they are and, and it makes a ton of sense to me. Um, the Vatane stuff where they, 
you know, like literally will have dead pig heads and stuff in their tour bus. Um, Cause the other thing about our, about our channel, which I'm still trying to figure out why a lot of these bands now that we're reviewing, we actually get to contact them and they'll do interviews with us. So that's like, a benefit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever film the reactions of those conversations? Yeah, we have them. We have them all. I mean, one of them we're gonna do a reaction with the actual artist. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you ever get a hold of Guar, let me know. Oh yeah. Because I fucking love those guys. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. Like when you can become friends with these people, like they're all connected to yeah, each other, sure. right? So, um, yeah, I'll put I'll put the word out for Guar. Fuck yeah. <laughs> um, have you grown an appreciation? For black metal, uh, since doing this, or is this, or is it just like seeing your reaction to these things? Is it more like, you know, do you do you like the music do you, that you listen to for YouTube? I know for me, I wasn't raised with music. There was like we didn't have music as, except for what my mom was singing to prepare for church or whatever. Um, wait, 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 what, 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 oh, what, yeah, what? You heard me? I didn't have a lot of music growing up. Did you grow up in Footloose? <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Did you grow up? Like, Footloose is too risky for Sori. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I, uh, am I right? I don't even know. Music. Look, she doesn't even know what Footloose is. You think I'm joking? They don't think I'm, they don't. Hey, hey, she, she, Kevin Bacon she, moves to a town she, where they don't she, allow she, dancing, she, and he teaches them how to dance. Yeah, we couldn't dance. No, I, 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 I figured it out. Uh, she's smothered in makeup. She's actually, like, that old music wasn't invented yet. Like, how the fuck do you grow up without music? Hey, that's, Even that's the what, Amish have music, for fuck's sake. That's what, that's what well, people say. They're like, how do you not know Iron yeah. Maiden? Oh, You're I know, 25. yeah. You don't know who Iron Maiden is. Fuck you. Like, there wasn't no music because at church there was music or my mom would prepare for her singing at church. And so she would have music playing or she, there might be a song attached to one of our school programs. But we didn't have like the radio that we could just listen to or CDs that we could just listen to at any point we wanted to. You grew up hardcore. Yeah. Like no radio, no TV, like even with, I mean. Some TV at different phases, but it wasn't something that we had a lot of access to. You, yeah. You're not supposed to ask ladies this, but how old are you? I'm 33. What the fuck? Oh. That's the thing. You're eight years older than I am, and you grew up like that. Please tell me you at least knew who Led Zeppelin was growing up. Nope. She had no how do you not grow up? Oh, oh, it hurts so That's much. Just, oh. <laughs> Brock, from the sounds of it, she didn't know who Elvis or the Beatles were. Oh, <laughs> I've heard yeah, I've heard of them. I've heard of Chuck Beatles. Berry. For the love yeah. of God, go back to Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> Coming Chuck Berry? No, I don't. I don't know who that is. So, so, um, do you know what was the first um, mainstream song that you listened to? Do you even know? Like. Yes. What was it? I can't say because I'm going to do a reaction with Vin on it. Oh, really? I don't oh, want him to know. Okay. That's a. I <laughs> asked a good question. <laughs> oh, is it that? Is it that country song? Is it that country song? Yeah, it's a country song. Oh God! All my exes live in Texas. <laughs> no, I was thinking <laughs> the same fucking thing. <laughs> I'm, about, I'm about to be your ex. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm definitely gonna watch that video. <laughs> I need to listen to a whole lot of love because yeah. it's just kind of depressed the shit out of me. Like, <laughs> you, you know, you could have a whole side channel of not listening to black metal, just listening to extremely popular music that you've never heard before, oh, and getting your reaction right. on that. Yeah, you're totally right. Because, and I bet you that would get popular shit too. Fuck it. But no, th th this whole thing raises the question. Uh. How do your how's your family that brought you up that way feel about uh, what what you're currently doing? They don't know. <laughs> well, okay. Her, they don't have computers. Knows, her mother knows and watches regularly. That's a fact. She yeah she just start, yeah she, she just, just hasn't admitted. Well, we did we she finally me, admit it to you that she watches regularly? She, no, she said that she she put it on to start watching. So my mom is the only one, but other than that, nobody knows. My mom is not allowed to watch anything I do online. Really? Yeah, I don't. She doesn't need to. She already gets the fucking free show 
uh, like live and off air whenever I do the shit that I do online, but I go a little crazier online with some of the shit that I say. And uh, yeah, she doesn't need to look at me uh, in, in, in extreme disappointment constantly. <laughs> my mom's, yeah, my mom's says she's already doing stream. that. No, she's already disappointed in me. It's just, it's not a constant thing. Sometimes she has also <laughs> yes, that I say the shit that I say. Brockus, Brockus, when was the last time your mother was not disappointed in you? Five minutes ago. Oh, she fell asleep. Good. <laughs> did, that you? <laughs> did you did you open up the full metal pickle jar of pickles? No, no, she uh, you know she she basically sat down and started watching uh, her her TV shows and and forgot I existed again. Is that your definition that of proud? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take whatever I can get. Fuck you guys. You do you live with your mom? Unfortunately. Okay, that's cool. It's cool. No, I said well, unfortunately. It's less than it's cool, but it's okay. I used to. Yeah, I, used to I wouldn't say it's mom. cool. And and the shit just kept happening way too often to me. So here I am again. But uh, he, he's, he's the same age as cool. your wife, by the way. I'm, well, next month uh, I'm actually turning 34, so technically I'm a little uh, older. older. <laughs> that, that, that is, stop making points for yourself, Brockus. <laughs> you, you need to find a nice big black man to move in with. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you can't have this one though. Right. Damn it. Taken. That one's taken. Damn it. He looks like he would treat me well too. I, I hear Pat's looking. <laughs> All you have to do is. Cry. <coughs> oh, that's really easy. I, I, well, yeah. When you, you cry. get so nice, to cry, yeah, but that's because I don't like crying. Yeah, cry. Remind me of Gears of War two and Gears of War three, and I'll start busting up fucking with tears because that shit that happened to Dom is just fucking heartbreaking. What do you mean, man? He this, is, man. this is why you don't have sex, Brockus. There's a lot of reasons why I don't have sex. That is definitely a major contributor, yes. No, we're actually really big Gears fans. We are. We love Gears. Oh, 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 then, then, I'm calling you the coal train from now on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah coal train. Train. <laughs> I'm going to call <laughs> her Baird. Cry when, Bro when Don died? I don't think so. Remember the thing and then he, you know, he ran into the thing? I don't know. All right. All right. I don't remember. So she, cried. Uh, she, she doesn't recall whether or not that happened. People used to trigger me every once in a while when when uh, with that because they would send me text messages or private messages saying, you never thought it would end like this, did you, Maria? And I would just fucking <laughs> lose my shit. I was like, you bitches! How dare you! <laughs> He's a hero! He's a hero! He's my favorite. Good God, I fucking sidebarred the shit out of yeah, this so conversation. To, to go back to your question, yeah, I got I have an appreciation for metal because all I ever thought about metal was it was like devil music, very, very bad, probably send you to hell. <laughs> um, so now listening to it, I'm like, there's some really significant shit in this. Um so and and I like right. the, I like the, right. the music of it too, some of it. Are you still worried you you might go to hell because of it? No. 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 Not at Is all. there a metal band that you like most? What's your favorite metal band? Well, but that's prog metal. It's still hey, metal. If it's, yeah. hey, if it's not Pantera, fuck both of them. <laughs> Pantera. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, it's Neapol Viscaris is my favorite so far. I've never heard of them. Yeah. So what, what's your favorite Pantera, metal band that I would have heard of? You've never heard of, of Neapol Viscaris? I guess now we can be those elite. I, 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 don't, I, I don't even you know how to fucking pronounce that. I just heard you say it and I couldn't repeat it. <laughs> well, yeah, actually, we got to we got to talk to the guy and he's like, I'm very impressed with y'all. He's from Australia. Um, okay, the one you'll know is Tool. I like yes, you. I do know Tool. Okay, <laughs> I like uh, Tool. We've all heard of Tool. What about yeah, see, uh, Tool? Does to not, uh, tool does not hold a fucking torch to Pantera. Agreed. Yeah, we just did uh, Cowboys from Hell. Um, oh, I liked that one. That was a memorial mm -hmm. for the big homie Vinny. Right. Vinny Paul. Um, what was that song? I don't remember which Domination. one. Domination. We did Domination. Oh. And that breakdown at the end, the solo and the breakdown at the end, like, dime completely. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm a big Korn fan, so Korn's always going to be my favorite band. 
Um, nice. But I actually, we've done three Behemoth songs, right? Mm -hmm. There's not like, there hasn't been a Behemoth song I didn't like. So. I'm, I'm going to guess you're a little younger than 33 then, if Corn is your favorite band. Just a little bit. I'm going to guess. How like old does he look? Man, uh, he's black, so I got to take that into account. <laughs> he's like uh, uh, 56. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny as you that. know what you know what's funny i used to work at a grocery store that and i carded hilarious. i carded this guy that came through my line literally he was in his 50s 56 <laughs> yeah i this understand guy's, what he's saying this guy's yeah, funny. yeah. No, I, I i did that to an asian lady who was in her mid-60s uh i used to work at a wine shop uh she comes up uh she shows her my id and uh, my my face went bright red yeah the guy laughed at me. I felt like an idiot. I was like, are you serious? Idiot dumb <laughs> I'm yep. not convinced Idris Elba is 135 years old. Idris <laughs> You know who that is, right? No. The dude from The Wire, the black dude, the smart one. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, he's in uh, Avengers, but he always dies. They always kill him. He always Actually, he's 34. He yeah, he just, he dies, he dies all the, all the time. Every fucking movie, Jesus. Every movie. Cool. He didn't die on the wire. There's a messenger. Yes, he oh well, okay. Oh, we haven't seen that. You never watched it, so <laughs> you never got interested in it. I that did. second it was, season is terrible, man. It was super. All so right, guys, long. we got five minutes, so we can do a lightning round or you can just kick us off the show. I'm sure we've been horrible for you guys. <laughs> no, you guys are yeah, I, I, yeah, you've, you've been, been pretty been enjoyable. Fantastic. Uh, sorry, you were Pickle, you reminded me of another YouTuber, but I can't put my finger on it. It's Help me out here, Schmeckle. You gotta know who I'm talking about. Some black guy, Tyler Preston, Setsu Two Cents, no, your sorry. boy Pat. Oh, um, <laughs> I don't know. There are a lot of white girl YouTubers. It would take a long time for me to list them. <laughs> there are a lot of white girl YouTubers. <laughs> hey, you know what's uh, scary? She, she does kind of remind me of uh, of roaming millennial a little bit, except not boring. <laughs> Roaming is a little boring. And probably true. <clears throat> but yeah, hey, um, if you guys do start a channel where you react to like popular music that you should have heard by now, uh, all I ask is like three percent. I mean, that's that's nothing. I had the idea here. So <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you good ideas for songs to react to. Too, and that'll be gratis. That'll, yeah, be, just that'll just be up free. In the, <laughs> up in the comment section. Yeah. Right? We literally, we've been doing this for three months. We've got like three million views. We've got like 300,000 watch hours. Because YouTube was like, you got to have 4,000 watch hours and, and 1,000 subscribers. Hours. Yeah. It's 4,000 yeah. hours and 1,000 yeah. subscribers. Yeah. We're at fucking 350,000 hours. And thirty thousand subscribers. We just got monetized yesterday. Yeah. Well, you are also on the YouTube fast track of approved content, so you you guys are also going to be coming up in a lot of recommended feeds and stuff like that, even just on music searches, like random music searches. Wait, we got put on a what? Well, I mean, there's channels yeah, like the Cup Stream. <laughs> uh, yeah, but our, ours is uh, there's an obvious reason why uh, why maybe we aren't getting promoted by YouTube. Uh, right, but right. You, you guys, yeah, you said it's been a couple months. Yeah, you you guys got on a lot fucking quicker than most. Yeah, I see. I see because of the name of your channel. Well, I mean, just not even referencing. This oh no, no, oh, also of, uh... our context. Uh, our content ain't great. Um, uh, that's the reason we ain't big. But I mean, uh, the, yeah, you're not going to see us show up in the sidebar because uh, we got the name cunt in the name of the channel. Also, I apologize for nothing. I say what I need to say. So what? what <laughs> so like what content? What What other? What? It, well, just um, there, there seems to be a trend of uh, certain political type content. Like if you talk about um, current events. And Dude, they're, they're, they're a Christian channel. They're getting just as hit that direction as anyone else. Well, yeah, but it's not really like they're not preaching or anything like that. What they're doing is reacting to, to music. And so, I mean, it's safe content. Anybody can watch it. 
Um, swear in it though. So I thought that would have made us get like I thought they said they frown upon swearing. I mean, YouTube doesn't really give a crap about swearing. They might not. I mean, they once you once you um, pay attention to what YouTube does for a while, you'll start seeing that they'll allow certain types of content and they'll restrict other types of content. At least yeah. that's what the pattern. See, I mean, they. <clears throat> All the time, but that's the pattern that it seems to a whole large chunk of YouTubers. Jack Septicai fucking cusses on his channel for God's sakes. Come on, like he's still one of the biggest and highest paid YouTubers out there when it comes. Yeah, to actually, actually, the, the the PewDiePie swears, and he's, he's yep, like he big does. one. Yeah, right. but uh, Swear, Jack, yeah, swearing me. swearing won't get you won't get you you know blacklisted or even like you know what what do they call it schmeckle when you they just kind of surreptitiously make it so your videos don't pop up in. Oh, it's a blacklist. Uh, I... Yeah, you get like blacklisted, kind of. And even. Oh, oh, I know what you're talking about. It's essentially like a shadow ban. They're yeah, purposely like putting stuff in your video. analytics to make sure you can't pop up. Yeah. Nice. So unless they're searching for something specifically around your subject matter. Then you then you won't pop up. It's it's, and then they'll take other types of videos, and no matter what you search for, they'll pop those up in your recommended feed, just because they share a random tag or something like that. And I'm not saying you guys got uh, the YouTube boost. I'm sure I haven't. Uh, like I'm about to go binge watch all your content, but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I fucking um, love metal, so I, I'd, I'd actually like to watch some stuff where it breaks down stuff. Well, I mean, but I mean, thirty thousand subs in three months is—I mean—that sounds pretty. You guys must have something going on for you. Like, I mean, your content must have some that thing, that thing that draws people. Ebony, uh, hey, Ebony. Uh, we we've been speaking to them for the past fucking uh, hour or so, uh, half an hour of that live. Uh, you know what they got? The fucking entertaining mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's that thing. They are. Because 30,000 in three months is, I mean, that's really good. So you, I mean, yeah, the, must, the, the, must be damn interesting. The, 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 the fact that they got monetized this quickly, uh, like that's, the, you know, uh, obviously YouTube likes them too. Uh, the fact yeah. that they have all these viewers and shit, that's, that's on them. Yep, they, they earned that. Well, we were, yeah. It's we, we, I was upset. I was like, "Shit, YouTube!" Because we got four thousand in like two weeks or in something. Two, we got four. It gets watch hours. They track how many hours people watch your your stuff. You know, so like we yeah. hit thousand in like two weeks, and then like you know we hit a thousand like a week after that. So I'm like, "All right, good, good, babe. We're gonna get monetized. Where is it?" Where's our fucking money? <laughs> yeah. Even now that we're monetized, YouTube might even like us more because most of our stuff is copyrighted because we play the full song. Right. So they're not really giving us much money at all, even right. though we have tons of content. Right. So we might be right there perfect for them because they're not going to give us much, but we're drawing a lot of people in. So Yeah. Right. Actually, yeah, the, 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 that's a very good point. If all your shit's uh, copyrighted, uh, most of your money's going to the companies and shit like that. YouTube's still taking their cut. You're you're no drain on them, right? Yeah, right. In yeah. fact, you're almost an advertisement for them. <clears throat> oh, for, for the music that you're playing, you know, you're you're just like a free ad, you know. For sure. I mean, you know, when we get, you know, the uh, we've got a couple really good. I've I've lined up. We got like four or five interviews from some pretty significant bands, like back to back to back to back. Uh, because one of the one of the bands that we interviewed, one of the guys that we interviewed, uh, there's this band called Thy Art is Murder in Texas, uh, Texas, mm -hmm. Australia. And um, he actually saw one of our videos and he commented on it. And I said, uh, shit, dude, let's do an interview. He was like, the band is commenting under one of our videos. I'm yeah. like, what? Well, it was the first time it had happened. Yeah. Now I'm kind of like, <laughs> you know. But anyway, this dude is like, the 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 most he's a social engineer like he knows everybody in the industry so like we got connected to so many people through him so very nice nice yeah that's gonna dude i 
you start doing interviews with the actual bands, I guarantee you your channel will blow up even bigger. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna be releasing one tomorrow. We got the girl from Cradle of Filth. Ooh. Um, oh uh, yeah, you start getting fucking interviews like that, and you're gonna go from uh, what'd you say they were at like seventy k or something? Thirty k like that. You're gonna go from thirty k to like three hundred k. Yeah, you know? it was like one interview. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know. then, then you'll have to start using your fair use on those. You'll have to start pausing those music videos in the middle of that, <laughs> kicking that fair use in, <laughs> keeping well, that monetization. You know, it, like you know, we offset it with Patreon. Like our the folks that are in our in our community are like they know because we tell we're upfront about everything. We tell them like, look, other reaction channels they stop, and you, you'll notice it. You go watch a reaction mm -hmm. channel. They'll stop every 20, 30 seconds, and that's why, because it that's the way to circumvent the copyright thing. Yeah, yeah, and sometimes it's kind of obnoxious when they do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah it do, it does get really annoying. You end up pausing for no fucking reason, and then they'll have to act all, oh my god, yeah, you know, because it's a reaction show and everything. Oh my god, he have just have. said uh, I got off the bus. Yeah. <laughs> like, I get off the bus too, man. We're just like, I can't believe that shit, like, man. Oh, man. Blow, blown away every 15 seconds <laughs> on every video. Right. So we we just came out and told everybody, like, look, this is why, this is what's going on. We want to go full time. And people have been um, really supportive on Patreon. Uh, so you know. I'm just wondering, have you started getting any online hate yet? Oh, we got online hate from day one. You know, very mixed race couple, Mark. Have you seen the current political sphere? I, sorry, I didn't. I didn't even notice that. Like, I didn't even notice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, he, <laughs> he doesn't see color. <laughs> it hasn't really been about the race thing. That hasn't been a big thing. Right? No, like they'll be the, they'll be the occasional <laughs> they'll be the occasional redneck who will, who will say. What do you know about rock and roll, nigger? <laughs> <laughs> and I, I, I leave that shit out there. I leave that shit out there. I'm like, I don't know. You know, rock and roll was based on blues scales, and I think black folks had a couple things to do with well, blues. Yeah, the, actually, the, the stream we did about an hour before this one was uh, about 1950s music and uh, how black people mainly created it and <laughs> stole yeah, it from you them. You motherfuckers stole it, yeah. <laughs> I, I basically brought up Chuck Berry. He he's one of the uh, godfathers of rock and roll. Elvis right. eventually copied him and and it did his own shit, and it eventually sprouted from there. Right, but what, what from Michael J. Fox? And... What do you know about rock and roll? So like you know, we, we'll get, <laughs> but you know what I really what really happens is like you know Trump. I'll say something offhanded about Trump, like that whole Kim Jong Un thing with uh, uh, you know in in Singapore. <laughs> That's almost what I was asking you about. If you said anything to rile the masses yet, and I'll say, I'll say, well, shit, good for him, good job. You know, Obama couldn't pull that shit mm -hmm. off in eight years. Right. And, and then they'll say, I had a guy say, like, if you ever say anything positive about Trump again, I'm gonna unsubscribe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, okay. bye, bye, motherfucker. <laughs> right? You know say, <laughs> on my channel. Insane. It's my channel. Insane. Yeah. Never say anything, but then and then, and then I'll say something against Trump, and then you'll have the the pro Trump people. Because like I don't care, you know. Like we're right. so like if he does something cool, I'm gonna say, oh, that was cool. If he does something stupid, I'm gonna say that was stupid. And you know, you got all the tribalism that goes on. Exactly. So people wanna, mm -hmm. you know, they want you on their team, and then they want to intimidate you with an unsubscribe. Yep. Uh, it's, yeah, it's still one of the bullshit that goes on nowadays. It's all fucking uh, us versus them, right? Yeah. Uh, I, I also think it's funny how you have 30,000 and that guy's like, hey, I'll leave if you... <laughs> <laughs> well, you'll really miss me. And, like, the next day, over the next day, you get, like, 400, 500 new subs. It's like, man, I really wish that guy stuck around. <laughs> yeah, and it's, uh, I know. Well, guys, but I'm really thinking about Ryan's asshole four four five six eight. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> hard not to say that, you know. I don't want to. I don't want to let that shit get to my head, but because I want to pretend right. I'm still like some semblance of a Christian. So, like, 
I'll just be like, usually I'll say something in the next video. Like there's a Pantera yeah. video where, you know, we're not supposed to review Pantera because Phil is a racist and blah, blah, blah. You know, like, oh, whatever. I, I <laughs> you know, I don't yeah. care. We're probably going to end up talking to Phil at some point. You know what I mean? I, um, I will also tell you, according to trends, the more you don't listen to that type of advice, the better off your channel's gonna do. <laughs> the moment you start letting those kind of things affect uh, what kind of content you make is when your channel starts circling the drain. Yeah, it's, yep. it's it happens time and again. Yeah, we're never gonna let you know somebody's opinion. And I, I don't care. It, my my stance on racism is that you know it, it, we all suck, right? That's the convenient thing about Christianity is that everybody starts off sucking and terrible. So. You know why is why is his quote unquote racism any worse than anything else? I'm not gonna not listen to his band because he he said a few things when he was drunk or high or whatever. Right, we, well, right. That, 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 that's one of the things. Uh, Thank you for being a reasonable person. Uh, <laughs> Phil Anselmo is kind of a piece of shit. He is, uh, but but the music in his band is great. But uh, ex it uh, it's like you, you go back a little further. You get um, fuck was King Grace. That was uh, written by a guy who literally sold people. Sure. Yeah. This is dumb. No, I agree. I agree. And of right. course, like I, I come a, I come from a Christian tradition that like really, you know, loves the Puritans. You know, the Puritans are like the be all end all. There's like Jesus and then there's the Puritans. You know yeah. what I mean? And like all these guys had slaves. You know what I mean? It's like, <laughs> oh, look at Jonathan Edwards. Yeah, he was a slave owning bastard. Like everybody's a piece of shit in their own way. You know what I mean? Like, so I'm not going to. Thank not... you. Everyone, I, I want a t shirt that says that everyone is a piece of shit in their own way. That is... <laughs> I'm not kidding. Something to, teach your, something to teach your kids, you know, build their self-esteem. You know what I just thought of? I would love to see uh, Vin and Sorry fucking uh, do a, uh, a collab or even just stream with some black guy. <laughs> Trippy guys. Hell yeah, Derek's a metalhead too. Oh yeah, yeah, he's huge in the metal. Because they're black they're doesn't mean they're song. Rock. What? I don't Look know. You're going in and out there, Schmecks. Yeah, I think Shreckles needs uh, to hit. Well, anyways, Trippycast, Trippycast in the chat says, "Who's the black chick with the white guy?" <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Trippy. <laughs> gender. Not color blind. He's gender blind. It happened. <laughs> yeah, but uh, so there we are. Um, we got to get out of here. We stayed a little bit over schedule. Um, and I'm sure you got other stuff to talk about, but um. Thanks for having us on. Yeah, Thank man. Thank you for coming. That was, was awesome. wonderful. Yeah, it's been great. A wonderful time. I looked, it was actually been cool. I looked at my phone and my 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 Twitter said, hey, you got you got mentioned. So I was like, oh, this should be some interesting shit. Well, <laughs> nice. Um, that guy I just talked about in the chat, Trippy, uh, him and I have a stream tomorrow night on the cunt stream. You should check it out. We talk about old school cringe. Old school back in old school cringe from back in the day. All right, cool. Cool. All right, guys. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks for Thanks. coming. Have yourself a good night. Yeah. It's good Have having you on. Night. You too, guys. I like them. Yeah, yeah, they were a lot of fun. I'm gonna have to actually check out their channel. Oh yeah, yes. absolutely. Yeah. Oh, I, I hope that they come back too. Yeah, I, I will try and keep in touch with them. Uh, but I am also a little excited that they uh, that they left because now we can talk about my choice of channel. I've been trying for three weeks to talk about them. Uh, my internet, my, my internet's shitty tonight, so hopefully I can fucking get it out. Uh, but I mean, uh, week one, well, we got sidetracked by the Sarah shit. Uh, week two, uh, I got too busy and had to have Trippy run the fucking stream. Uh, very nearly viral. Roy and Lacey, uh, the the beard uh, with, with melts steel, ice, and a man's heart. 
and Lacey, the the probable trap. <laughs> good. You're going in and out, Schmex. You robot. F five on the F five. <laughs> I'm I'm happy that it's not my mic that's fucking up tonight. It usually it's is. It's going like in and out, but it's more of a, a muffle, unmuffle, muffle, unmuffle. Mine yeah. is. Yeah. I, I don't know why it's doing that. I'm sorry, guys. It's Dude, it's it's nowhere near as like you know fucked up as Schmeckles has been because his it's his connection. He's saying normal stuff, but for us, it's. Uh, uh... God. Damn it, what the fuck did I just say? Something about his beard, which is... Um, Roy is pretty, has a good beard, and his eyes could melt steel, uh, gold, or a man's heart. Something along those lines. And Lacey's pretty and probably a trap. He probably traps men with his penis. Accurate. Very, that was very the accurate. We know Roy's said. trapped. But their channel, their channel... It's so it's good. Hilarious. The last time I uh, drank that... acid, I went on a very nearly viral binge watching spree, and it was the best trip I've ever had in my life. And that's not a made up story. That Mark, actually happened. Mark, 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 if you are still able to get acid in the modern day, please DM me. Um, <laughs> not, not, not me. I'll, ha I'll, have, uh, I'll, I'll have somebody DM you. And you know them. Somebody, uh, somebody who looks exactly like you. Got it. No, no. But uh, Roy and Lacey, they... Uh, you all knew who the fuck Roy and Lacey are. <laughs> but uh, the, they do mainly skits. A lot of uh, the most recent shit they've been doing has been more like uh, blog-type style shit. But now they're... Uh, uh, in a more steady position in life, they have better equipment. They're able to go back to doing the, like the sketches and shit like that. They are two ridiculously funny motherfuckers. Uh, and the, the, they have an occasional third guy, uh, the troll, who I guess is all right. Fuck that guy. I don't like the but troll. I don't like the troll either. Uh, I'm going to be honest. I just have to say, he's not funny like Roy and Lacey are. Like, he does well, not have that. Uh, he, it, I got to assume all his lines are written by uh, either Roy or Lacey. But he, he's not an actor. He just has a speech impediment. Yeah, He's just an ugly guy with a speech impediment. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. know who is you know who is a good third edition to uh, to very nearly viral. Okay. Exactly. We're not going to talk about it too much tonight because uh, uh, I'm going to be talking about it next week on this show. But yeah, uh, we'll, tag team, we'll tag team her next week. It's not uh, like she away from you. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh, they, they should give her a bunch of disgusting looking fake teeth, uh, dress her up all grubby, and just replace the troll. Or, or, you know, or, just, just, you know, how she looks now is fine. Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, how she looks now is fine. Fuck you, Rob. <laughs> I love Day to Death. She's awesome. I, I, I am actually a big fan of Day. She's yeah. uh, uh, not only good with the always shit and all that, she's uh, an entertaining person, but uh, we're, we're talking about Roy and Lacey. Yes, I'm... Man, they are two of my favorite people. My two favorite channels on YouTube are Poisoning the Well and Very Nearly Viral. For a long time, those were two of my favorite channels. Uh, I gotta say, uh, with Poisoning the Well, uh, I, I liked them a lot. I just kind of stopped watching them for whatever reason. Well, they Very Nearly Viral. Them. Oh, m m maybe it was just that. Uh, yeah. Very nearly viral, though. Uh, every time something pops up from them, I uh, I watch it like, right away. No, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much in the same boat. Uh, Poisoning the well, I, I watch anything that they pretty much uh, um, produce, and I will drop everything for them. And it, the same thing is uh, very nearly viral. As soon as they upload a video, I'm fucking stoked. I'm happy. I'm just like, yes, Roy and Lacey, Kimmy. 
What's your favorite episode? Uh, very nearly viral? Yeah. Oh, I've got a few of them, but if I had to pick like a, a very specific favorite, um I think it was Oh, I can't remember what the topic was, but in the beginning, Roy was trying to get Lacey to give him more money because he just wanted to go and buy more stupid shit. And Lacey kept telling him no. And then uh, when Lacey left the, the apartment, Roy tried fucking mugging Lacey later on and ended up fucking hurting himself because he ran into like a wall or a pole or some shit. I, I, I remember my my favorite video. I'll, I'll pull it up uh, at the end of the episode. I'm going to... I'm gonna pull up one video from each of them, but uh, uh, my favorite moment from them didn't come from my favorite video. Uh, it's at the end of the video, uh, and Lacey comes out uh, to Roy and says, "Hey, Roy, you know, you know, I'm gay, right?" And Roy's like, yeah, "What? Yeah, you've never shown any sign of that." And it, it does like a flashback sequence. And at the end, it turns out Roy was like, "Yeah, I, I already knew it was. Uh, uh, I was just playing it on it for the for the YouTube hits and the money." It was in a reaction to some, some two gay gay twin brothers that had come out like crying <laughs> on YouTube. Uh, oh, for a second, I thought you were talking about me, asshole. But then I realized what you were actually talking about. It's an actual pair. No, of hey, it was an actual video. I'm not <laughs> talking about you and Rob. <laughs> like I'm sitting here, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Gay brothers that came out on. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. No, this was an actual video they did. That wasn't a long wind up to a really cheap <laughs> shot at you. Sorry, I'm just you know used to this channel. <laughs> no, uh, my my favorite video from them actually would uh, probably be not their most recent, but the one before it, uh, where they wake up in the woods. Yeah, I like. Oh that one. yeah, that, my that actually... my favorite one though has to be the one with sugar tits, where they get the stuffed bear. <laughs> oh, that was good. They have Sugar Tits guest as a voice guest, and they do the whole skit with the stuffed bear. And, uh, like, uh, Roy and Sugar Tits have the big fist fight, and Roy ends up killing Sugar Tits. Just so fucking good. That one was so good. Oh, oh yeah, they're, they're, they're fucking hilarious when they yeah. when they just go wild with their shit. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they're, but, and then they're, they're, they're versatile, too, because they had another really good... Uh, Really good point was uh, when they did that video. It was a music video. Yeah, uh, they've done a couple. Like they did the <clears throat> their rap video against Kevin Logan and all them. They got uh, they did the rap video about um, or not a rap video. They, they did that song about the Kumite. But uh, <clears throat> uh, one and of the I know best Lacey things was in. Celestial Parsnips video of uh, that, Don't You Miss that, that, Me. That's exactly the one I'm talking about. Yeah. The, that that was one of the best appearances of any of them. Right. I love that one. Oh, Plus, I, uh, I got to say, Parsnip can fucking sing. Oh, yeah, he can. He sounds think, like um, Keith Ledger in my, <laughs> in my uh, ear. He sounds like Keith Ledger. But... Um, my favorite line from very any very nearly viral one is when they're doing their uh, Christy Winters and uh, Steve Shives impression. They do the best impressions because all they do is like draw like a beard with magic marker on their fucking face and shit. It's great. And uh, Steve Shives goes, Christy, I had the worst day today, Christy. What happened, Steve? Someone told me a joke, Christy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was horrible, Christy. It was horrible. I'm not going to derail this shit with drama, but we, we got American Phoenix Sam. Vamp Candy got so mad about that video with the the recent one in the forest. And then we got Godbother, a resident troll, saying Vamp Candy is just a horrible woman. And then we got. Uh, Death Rook and saying, uh, You want to join an epic quest? Become a hero. Don't fight with each other about that. Uh, the, all, all the fighting that needed to be done about that video was done between Vamp and Roy, and they, 
they figured it out and it's all good like the the there were snuggles and kisses and some beard tickles <laughs> they it, it settled Roy likes the beard tickles no then I'm not talking Roy tickling her with his beard like just her tickling his beard no I know he he enjoys it he enjoys oh, the I, oh yeah he, he'll get his leg kicking and everything if you get the right spot <laughs> When do I get to talk about my guy? Never. Never? Uh, it's, it's soon. Well, just shut the fuck up. We're, 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 talk <laughs> we're talking about Roy and Lacey right now, Mark. I know. Wait my goddamn term. I love they the my very favorite. viral uh, um, collabs that they've done. I, and I think one of my personal favorites, uh, of course, a little bit of bias, was uh, the one they did with uh, Poisoning the Well. And the reason why is because you got to see, like, the Roy dumb fuck personality matched up with Sophane and how it fucking didn't work at all because it's like the devil you know is better than the devil you don't know because, you know, for Sophane and Fat Pat, Fat Pat's supposed to be the dumb fuck, but occasionally Sophane gets to be the dumb fuck. But most of the time it's Fat Pat who's the dumb fuck, and Sophane's used to that. He's not used to the Roy level of dumb fuck. And then there's Lacey pretty much in the same boat as, as Pat where, you know, Lacey was abandoned and the conversation the two of them had in that collab had me cracking the fuck up because you saw fat Pat break down and cry and he's super depressed and everything. He doesn't know what to do with, uh, with himself because so left him. But then Lacey calls him and all of a sudden he lost his fucking mind. He started painting his face just like Lacey because he needs somebody. He needs a straight man and Lacey could be his straight man and they're going to do their own thing. But then Sophane shows up and everything goes back to normal. No, and that was something. I actually made uh, a video a short time ago. Uh, a, a long time ago now. A short time before that. Threatening violence if I did not get a collaboration between Poisoning the Well, Very Nearly Viral, and Magog. There was no Magog in that video. So as far <laughs> as I'm concerned, Roy still needs to die. I want actually a collab between very nearly viral uh, poisoning the well and Gulf City. It's three of the same general <laughs> personalities. Because uh, I, I, I can almost guarantee that would work poorly. No, I think it would work fabulously, especially if like somehow they all work together on it secretly without us knowing and everything like that. And we're doing voice recordings, animations, all that stuff to eventually fuse all three of them in one big collab. Kind of thing. If they were to do a collab where they, where they didn't all meet up. Sure. Certainly. Well, no, in, that's what I mean. In I... person, uh, you'd have to have Roy and Sophane and then like AP and Ghastly animated in and all that. Uh, but also, yeah. I, I I don't think I don't think those those six people would all get along. I think that's they would. too many people to have involved in one collaboration. It's three straight men and and three uh, joke characters. That's pretty much what you're dealing with. You've got Gaston, uh, it, Lacey. It's, and... it's still too many goddamn people. I don't think it's too. Dude, I was a part of a giant collab that fucking Roy and Lacey put together after the day. Oh, the oh, 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 which you did not have to interact with any of the other people for no yeah you that's... just had to send your fucking thing okay fair enough fair enough what i'm saying is is what they could be doing is essentially a almost completely animated thing like part of it could be where they all film their own individual shit but then they all end up meeting up with each other in cartoon form so at that point like for some magical reason or whatever they end up going in cartoon form to gulf city hence the collab with fucking AP and hey, gas it, it would be a good fucking video. I don't think I don't think it would be doable. <laughs> I I don't think those people would uh, like that's six people involved. Quit stepping on my dream, Schmeckle. Hey, uh, bro, uh, how, how many fucking uh, I mean, obviously I have more than six people involved in in this shit, but hey, you guys all can't get along for fucking 5 minutes. Like, uh, I, I can't see it working out. Uh, not when you got to spend all the time to fucking film shit. And they're, they're all volatile personalities, uh, except for mm -hmm. Ghastly and Lacey. Well, I mean, technically also Fat Pat, but that's just because his personality is poop and fart jokes constantly. Uh, sorry, 
Well, we, we got uh, Pinoid saying Baracus. That's me, Pinoid. Don't compare him to Baracus Obama. Uh, <laughs> we got uh, Malevolent Rider saying Baracus has been debunked by Schmeckle in five seconds. Uh, we got Pinoid saying Baracus. Uh, that's mean. Don't compare him to Barack Obama. <laughs> Your idea is bad and you should be embarrassed. Okay. Your idea was bad, Baracus. No, Brock is actually, it was a good idea, but what they need to do is just send their parts of the video into AP and Gasly, and AP and Gasly edits and whips that shit up into a cartoon. Yes, if they and were all way, they they don't have to record their shit other. separately, then yes, I could see that working. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, I, like I just don't see them all meeting up and all being good and friends and shit. Actually, and I, I, uh, the, the, you know what? I, I fucking do. They'd all fucking throw down some Jaeger and fucking have a great goddamn time, I bet. Let well, me explain I, I how I feel like it can get broken down for the people that seem to be misunderstanding <laughs> everything I'm fucking saying. Do you remember the collab that's been really clearly actually, viral on Poison in the Well? Do you oh, remember yeah. that collab? Okay. You realize yes. that the Sophane and Roy stuff was filmed individually in New York when the two of them were in New York. Yeah. With the Lacey, yeah. yes, I get that part. Meanwhile, Lacey and uh, Pat were in different. I understand all that. Yes, yes, this is the I'm same thing. That it, 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 which is exactly why I said it wouldn't work if they all met up. If, if there's not something where, they, where, they, where they can all be at a distance from each other and shit like that, it's all the the idea is they're all scripted. Everything where it's poisoning the well and very nearly viral on the uh, on their own in their own channels with their own equipment and stuff they record all their shit with gold city recording all their shit separately but then the six of them are all voiced together because they all have the same fucking script to go off of and then once all six of their personalities are on cartoon form in gold city that's where it's supposed to be magically illusional that they've met up but they've never once well, met up with each other outside of their individual partners. Well, Do you, you get the concept? And that that's yes, I, I understand. That's exactly, exactly what I proposed. <laughs> I was just gonna say the issue lies with the character animator that they use. It requires a specific calibration from Gasly to set it up. Right. Yeah, but what you don't understand, Pickle, is Gasly is a smart-ass, talented motherfucker who can do that shit in the fucking blink of an eye because he knows his shit. In fact, he could do it off his own face and uh, up uh, in uh, the that, that motherfucker, uh, that motherfucker can uh, pump in a new fucking character uh, with like maybe two hours of fucking artwork uh, and set it up with uh, the the fucking facial recognition thing. So yeah, it's got these fucking expressions depending on what. Uh, the other person on the other camera is, is fucking doing later on. Mm -hmm. uh, he he, he just lip syncs the lines with the facial recognition and does it for the he, other he, he, he doesn't even the need to lip yeah. He doesn't even need to lip sync the, the lines. He just needs to get the, the basic facial uh, features compared to the, uh, the, the avatar. Uh, he's just got to set it for okay. Okay, uh, this guy makes a uh, face where this mouth looks like a no, you do this, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. it, it, it I know how the program works. Fucking three <laughs> hours. A, a, a new fucking character, three hours. Tops. By the way, I've actually talked about a triple way uh, collab before with them and tweeted that out in, into fucking Twitter itself and everything. Uh, apparently, Gulf City and Poisoning the Well are planning on already doing a collab with one another. I'm so, nice. so, so, so I'm just saying. I, I want I want a Gulf City view. It, 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 it wasn't a it wasn't a Gulf City poisoning the well feud that I was foreseeing. I don't think that it's going to be a Gulf City very nearly viral feud either. I don't think it would be a feud. I just think they would uh, great against each other. Again, if they can all agree on the the the, the script. I'm pretty sure it would go fine. Yeah, I, they I, all do I, have I, very I, different senses senses of humor. Mm -hmm. 
No, uh, they, they actually all have very similar senses of humor, just expressed very differently. Yeah, sorry, expressed very differently. They, 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 they all find the same types of things, like, for the most part. Funny. Yes. Uh, and they all appreciate each other's work. Uh, uh, I'm not saying that they would work poorly. I'm just saying that uh, if they all met up together to do a video... Oh. They'd, they'd probably get tired of each other before the video was done being filmed. Schmeckel, you want to read the super chat? Um, uh, I can't see a super chat. So all right, I'm American sure Phoenix with five dollars. Thank you, buddy. They use the power of Lacey's trap flaps to defeat Richard Specter. I would. I would. I would watch that episode. <laughs> Oh God! The power of the beard and Lacey's trap flaps. Uh, how, how, how you doing, yeah. Tom? Man, listen. I'll be honest with you. That was the hardest stream I've ever done today. What doing? Uh, that, that stream was hard. Uh, you fucking uh, you nailed it, dude. I feel like I did like a really shitty job. On some I serious shit. It. I feel. I feel like I did hey. a shitty job. You know no, I mean? no, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I only caught that, and maybe you, maybe you shit throughout the rest, but uh, <laughs> uh, yo, yo, man, if well, not, I was like, yo, I was noise. super. I was, I'll be honest, man, I was super nervous being in front of, like the whole goddamn Golf City squad and shit in the first day, and like, like there was like fucking like I had to go through like orientation. It was ridiculous, you know. I mean, I was mad nervous. Like it was like going like a real job and shit. Oh yeah, well, just think of it this way: it can only go better from here on out. That's what yeah, I was that thinking. show's gonna be better, bro. That's what I was thinking. You know, what I mean, yeah. like once, once, like we're back, like it's me and Excel, and we're doing what me and Excel does. Like, yo, we'll fucking get it to full. I'm gonna nail that bitch like a split hog next week. It'll be fucking pimping, right? Uh, uh, like, uh, why why aren't you nervous when you come on the cunt stream? I'll be right back. Yo, I mean, why I'm not nervous over here? Like, I'm a fucking audience. I'm a big wig. <clears throat> yo, because like yo, I'm not streaming. Like, okay, so. When I'm in this stream, I'll be honest with you, like nobody's in there talking reckless and the motherfucking chat and shit, you know, and like, so it, it's not like a real big deal. Like nobody says a whole bunch of retarded nonsense, but like once you get in the stream of like Golf City, they're used to the Golf City guys. So like they be fucking with my speech patterns and shit. They're like, nah, I'm saying, nah, I'm saying, nah, I'm saying the fucking <laughs> chat. Oh, it just, you know, it just fucks my whole game up. Yeah, just, they will find anything to fucking tear it apart, dude. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, because like you start thinking about what you're saying and shit, and then on top of that, you're already thinking about what you're saying because, like, like you representing the brand. I'm like, oh god damn it! Like, for fuck's sake! Like, when I'm representing uh, my I brand. I never I'm think gonna... about what the fuck I say. Uh, I, I run this fucking brand, and I never thought about what I say. I feel you. Hey, if anyone represents this brand, it's me, and uh, I, I don't do that. Yeah, I got you. I got you. You know what I mean? Like, fucking, I come over here and I just run rough shot over Baracus and shit. And that's why I mean? this is home. Yeah, yo, yo, I like it over here. Y'all motherfuckers is cool as shit. You know what I mean? As long as like I don't that, call that's it. the thing. I, uh, <laughs> uh, I I was sitting there. I could hear that fucking stream. I hear the fact that that you were running over Brockus, and uh, I was sitting there like, hey, yeah, Brockus is the one in the show. If if he can't if he can't be the one on top, then he's not the one on top. <laughs> uh, you know, I wasn't gonna step in and protect him. <laughs> yeah, I know, and it was all it was survival all like, of the fittest <laughs> around here. Like, I came in, I was like, yeah, this is Pinoid Live. How the fuck are you doing? God damn it. We getting into the fuck done today. Like, <laughs> this is the church of Jesus Christ. It's not a bitch made nigga. Welcome no, to the I'm motherfucking saying. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, man. Fucking yeah. great. But I bet you did good, dude. I bet you did good, and you're just being a little hard on yourself because it's new, but uh, it's not like you're replacing another show. I don't know why the fucking Gulf City chat should be all salty. No, they weren't. They weren't. They weren't. Most of them was real supportive and stuff. And like most of them are like a lot of them are like the guys who are real active in the chat are my fans anyway. You know what I mean? Right. So it wasn't a real big deal. Uh, <laughs> I just that, that, like I, I didn't, I didn't do too. like an A plus thing, you know, because like usually like when I hop on my shit, like I can say whatever I want because it's my shit. You know, I could fucking be like, like, you know, you know what? Fuck them, my damn Mexican motherfuckers. Let's trebuchet them bitches back across the border and shit. You know what I mean? Let's fucking stand here. You know, like, yo, I'm going to tell you what. These bitches is out here fucking killing 20% of our fucking population for their goddamn feminist fucking freedom. 
Fuck them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? Hell with that. Let's close down the borders. No more immigration to these broads. They got to keep their babies. And guess what? Our population be fucking fine. See, because I can say stuff like that on my joint, but like on their joint, I'm kind of iffy about like going <laughs> completely hard. Right. Yeah, and see, like, yeah, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, you got nothing to worry about on fucking Golf City streaming because uh, if, if you. Uh, if you build up a bit of an audience and then uh, you, you do a stream at the same time as them, I I think you'd win. Uh, I'm not saying do that, uh, but uh, I'm saying uh, hey, you know, uh, don't be worried about your, your appearance on their channel. I know, I know, I know. It's just, yo, it's just like, yo, fucking like, man, listen, you... Man, you don't understand how my day went today. You know what I'm saying? Like fucking, like I had, like we had, like a fucking, like a, a team meeting. You know, it was it was fucking bananas. You know what I mean? Like it was. It's like I was already. I felt like I was stepping into like an actual job. And then like AP was on there doing his fucking thing. You know, AP's <laughs> mad comfortable. You know what I mean? I got my bottom bitch. Me and my bottom bitch excel. Like we like, goddamn, this is like a big chance for us. We doing big things, and I'm building up inside of my head. So like, it just makes you fucking nervous just stepping into like the whole fucking like big. Thing that I built up inside of my own brain on some retarded shit, you know, but it just is what it is. You know, I mean, shit that I gotta fucking get over mentally on some nonsense, and it'd be be it'd be much better next week. Like when I'll be honest, when AP is not on, because like, you know, I love AP and me and him do really well together. But like, yo, he's way too comfortable, and I'm just not quite on that level on that channel yet. You know, uh, see, that's that's uh, that's something you gotta avoid. Uh, just just be fucking comfortable. Uh, you know, I mean, I oh, when I started this fucking shit, I, I was uncomfortable talking to a fucking microphone. Uh, there wasn't a fucking person in front of me. It, it was fucking weird, right? Yeah, I feel like uh, you. You know, at this point, I, I I could jump on the fucking PewDiePie's channel and have a chat with the fucking audience, right? I'm not saying it would be uh, necessarily entertaining, but uh, I wouldn't be sitting there nervous, right? Yeah, as, yeah. As like, I, like I'm, I'm super entertaining. Usually, it's kind of the situation. Like I'm really entertaining. Motherfuckers love what I'm saying. They dig my voice. We doing our thing, and, and we're kicking it and enjoying ourselves. And I've been a driver for about five years, something like that, right? Um, and I'll just answer an American Phoenix in the chat. And I, I brought on Ace of Skulls, and like halfway through, like fucking like ten minutes in or three minutes or whatever, in the fucking being on the show, his power went out, right? And I was like, Ace of Skulls, Ace of Skulls, Ace of Skulls. And it just disappeared. Like, like shit's already fucking up. I don't know, man. Just felt felt weird. You know what I mean? Just felt weird for the moment. You know what I mean? Just vibing out on how the fuck I feel at the second. You know what I mean? By the way, what up, Baracus? How you doing, man? Uh, fucking, you still uh, streaming from your mausoleum? Yes, yes. I don't, I don't uh, actually have a mausoleum, but yes, I am. That, that's positive. You know what I mean? You ain't waking the dead and shit tonight, so that that that's a good thing. Well, that's because they're already awake and pissed off. I did that earlier off air. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So what's going on with y'all motherfuckers, man? Y'all here talking about Golf City doing a fucking thing with uh, some other people? I was basically saying I would love to see a, a three-way collab with uh, Poison the Well, Very Nearly Viral, and uh, Golf City. Schmeckle had to step on my dreams. That's because your dream's I'm dumb. I'm just saying, man, I don't think it will work. <laughs> Let me dream, you fucking asshole, you goddamn Canadian devil. Yo, your dream's uh, dumb. Uh, never mind even all the shit I said before, the logistics of it. Yeah, it's hard enough like, yo, for Lady man. Troy to record their own shit. Man, yo, do you understand like how long it takes them to make a fucking cartoon? Uh, actually, I believe he has mentioned it multiple times on streams. Yo, it takes like a really long time, like to fucking animate a whole goddamn cartoon. It takes like two fucking weeks to make them bullshit. Like, I think like fifteen minutes a clip, something like that. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not even. Like, it's not even like you're doing like a whole half hour cartoon. You know what I mean? They're not like doing. You know, what I mean, twenty four minutes with three fucking uh, commercial interruptions and shit. They're just doing like fifteen minutes. Oh yeah, one of the best 11. things about Gasly is he is his own workhorse. He is his <laughs> own workaholic. Like that dude mm -hmm. does not have, know the understanding of the word quit. He does not have that definition He's in his fucking vocabulary. Mm. Yo, he got his game face on. I'll tell you that much on some real shit. Yeah. He got his fucking Plus game face. the addition of uh, all that uh, hand drawn animation they've been using lately, you know. Mm -hmm. 
That takes time. Like, I, I fucking love and praise Poisoning the Well for a lot of things, and they have some of the best production value on, on, on the internet. But when you talk about dedication to your craft, dedication to the channel, Ghastly, I don't think there's anyone that really can compare to Ghastly because he's he's essentially a one-man army who does have people helping him out in, in certain areas and shit, especially mm -hmm. AP and stuff. But Ghastly does, like, I want to say 85% of the work itself on his own. And it's just like, God damn, that dude is like fucking, he, he you can't stop. He's the juggernaut. Uh, bro, bro, uh, I, I got to cut you off. We have a bunch of people saying in the chat, I miss the super chat. Uh, we got a dollar 99 from Hitsugi Hime. I, I don't like that chick. Uh, for Pickle Daddy, <laughs> love you. Uh, then a heart. Then uh, an asterisk <laughs> rules. And are we wino? I'm not returning the hat, dude. This is a fucking fishing license. That's my master. You know what I mean? Like, yo, it's a goddamn fishing license because it's what we use to go fishing around here. You have to have it present on your person with the fishing rod in your hand. So, like, the fucking fishing game commission can look at it with some binoculars and then, you know what I mean, not bother you, hopefully. Now, uh, Rhino says he would come on the stream, but he has gas and he's farting a lot. You're also not invited. Yeah, yeah fuck <laughs> you, Rhino. Oh, uh, I like Rhino. He's a good dude. Man, I don't know. I'm just saying fuck people. That's where I'm at right now. You know, oh, I mean? yeah, I fuck you, motherfucker. That's where I'm getting to. Tom's at that point where he's just like, you know what? Um, I kind of don't like that this thing happened in a way that uh, I'm not pleased with. So <laughs> well, fuck, I, fuck I, 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 I got to say, well, we, we were going to bring Tom into the family. Uh, he, he was going to be a part of the family. And then I caught uh, <clears throat> Nicole City streaming. And I hear AP telling him uh, the, that he got to avoid the fucking con stream. And <laughs> that, that really made our fake beef a lot fucking worse. <laughs> uh, me and AP are a lot more fake mad at each other than we were before. The yeah, stakes man, fucking... have been fake raised. <laughs> yeah, I put I put that clip up. Like I cut that clip up out of my fucking sermon and shit. That was like a forty five minute fucking sermon I did. Where I slapped the bitch out of AP, and he's like, "You should never go over there." I was like, "I'm not saying that shit right now." You know what I mean? Because like, you know what I mean? Fucking my man Schmeckle, he got me over there. You know what I mean? Wants me to do like two shows a week and shit. You know what I mean? We're trying to get this shit the fuck done. You know what I mean? I got love for you. Handle your goddamn business and shit. You know? <laughs> man, listen. Yeah. Fucking, yo, AP, AP was like, man, yo, we got some fake beef. <laughs> we got mad fake beef. <laughs> the fake beef is strong. I am really fucking fake tired of that motherfucker. <laughs> Oh, man. Yeah, fucking, man, listen. You know what I mean? Like, fucking that shit. Man, a a a a a AP should be fucking fake worried because after this stream, I'm going to fake dox him. <laughs> uh, I'm going to put his fake name and his fake address all over the fucking place. <laughs> his name is Barack Hussein Obama. You know what I mean? <laughs> he lives at, like, 21 Pennsylvania Avenue or some shit like that. Man, that motherfucker <laughs> don't live there no more. You got kicked out. <laughs> They were saying we're, we're saying fake address. That's where we're at, man. I'm just I'm just making up numbers. I don't even know if the number's 21. I'm not real sure. Uh, I, I don't think it's 21. I think it's a much bigger number than that. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I, feel like, I feel like I feel like it should be like two or like one. You know, what I mean, like it's the fucking White House. Yeah, you, you, you think like the one. White House would be fucking number one, right? And everything else would would go off of that, no matter whether or not it was in the middle of the fucking road. <clears throat> that uh fucking uh that our wine no dude whatever right right he said it's 1600 right yeah i don't give a fuck like yo spell your name right right fucking yo <laughs> you know it's 1600 <laughs> well, fucking Pennsylvania avenue right and i don't really give a fuck but it should be one that's where i'm at this is america bitch you know i mean our capital should be number one on everything like his number it should be like you know, I mean, one, 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 one. Like that should be its fucking number, because it'd just be all types of ones. Exactly. Uh, I don't care if the rest of the road uh, on one side only goes up to fucking like uh, three hundred. Yeah, uh, you go three hundred, then you go one, 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 and you continue from there. <laughs> its phone number should be like one, one, one. <laughs> exactly. Hey, you want to call the fucking White House? Type out ten ones. Yo, and now you got to put a one in front of that bitch. 
Thank you. No, oh, yeah, hey, you got to make sure it's American. <laughs> yeah, one dash one 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 dash one 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 dash one 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 one. That should be the goddamn number of motherfucking America. Or she just be able to hit one at any given point and like you just dial away. Yeah, fuck the operator. You type one and you get a direct line to the fucking Oval Office. <laughs> Talk to Trump. Press one. No, there should need, no, no, no. There should never be an automated system at the fucking White House. There should always and be no, somebody there. Trump to should be sitting there by the fucking phone, ready to answer. <laughs> uh, I, I punch one into the phone. I'm going to do it after this fucking stream. I want Trump to answer. And if he don't, he's running his country wrong. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like, you know what I mean? The moment a guy becomes president, his social security number, like, for them fucking four or eight years should be, like, one. That should just be the whole social security number. Man, like, zero, 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 that zero, would make zero, it zero, really zero, easy to steal his fucking <laughs> identity. Uh, I'd be the president every fucking day. <laughs> I, I used to read this book series called Remo the Destroyer, and he was like a secret assassin for the CIA, and but he could never remember passwords and phone numbers and shit, so every time he tried to call his boss, they set up a code where he'd go up to pay phones and shit and just hit one over and over and over and over. Man. Until, and that's that it would send a link to his boss work like the only guy who knew who he existed well, f- fucking tom turned off his camera right as i was gonna ask a question about his appearance what what what, what about my fucking appearance do you i can turn my camera uh, the, 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 the fuck happened to that tooth uh, i swear to god that tooth was there last time i spoke to you nah man that tooth's been missing since i, was, I lost it in a fight when i was like 14 oh shit uh, i could have sworn it was there last time Nah, man, I'm missing that fucking tooth. And, and, the, dude said, and, the, dude, and the dude said, wait, wait, wait. And this, dude, this dude said that the fucking original White House is in New York. No, it wasn't. It was in Philadelphia. Like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> man, you you guys had uh, uh, the original White House we burnt down. Mm-hmm. We, was in Philadelphia. Us, the Canadians. It wasn't in Washington. No, yeah, it, was it in was Philadelphia. In Philadelphia as you pointed out, that was literally the birth fucking state of the entirety of the U.S. Oh, <laughs> shit. That makes a lot more sense uh, uh, yeah, as That's far as location goes. Like, like yeah. that, uh, it, it, If I'm not very mistaken, that's a lot more central, right? Yeah. In Philadelphia. That's where the fuck it was. No, nah, it was in Philadelphia. You know, That's I mean, where the, the Declaration of Independence was signed. That's where Congress uh, was born. That's basically... Everything about America's political fucking system was in Philadelphia. And then you Canadians burnt uh, shit down, and all of a sudden... We uh, because like, oh, of a war that you south. guys started. You guys started that <laughs> war. We just culminated it and... Shut up, you arsonist your White House. <laughs> Look here. This is America, all right? You know what I'm saying? That Canadian shit, we weren't even really worried about. We were worried about fucking the British up down there in motherfucking Louisiana and shit. And we did. You know, we went down there and we fucked them up pretty good. You know what I mean? Made them motherfuckers like run away like little bitches that they are. You know, and now fucking, you know what I mean? Fucking, you know, there's Canada up there, America's hat. You know, it's cool. I, would, uh, I wouldn't be surprised uh, if it no, burned man, out. We, we, were, we were the winners at the end of that war, the one conflict we've ever had. I, I mean, if you guys came at us now, we'd be destroyed in like a day. No, nah, we but, fucked you up. We fucked you up then, over Maine, too. Oh. I, I don't know about this. Have we fought you guys twice? Yeah, Maine, and there was a war in Toledo, I think. And we won that one, too. You know what I mean? Because, like, you know, you're, you're fucking Canada. You know what I mean? Like, what the fuck? Man, y'all ain't got no fucking business even trying to have a problem with us. No, uh, sir. Uh, Tima says uh, that was a battle, not a war. Yes, uh, we won that battle and also the War of 1812, which... Uh, <coughs> when did that take place? Uh, actually, not in 1812. I believe it happened in like, 1813 or something like that. Well, your part of the war happened in 1813. The part of the war that we were concerned about happened in 1812 when we fucked the British up. And we were South. done with it. We were like, yeah, this shit's over. We, we burned down your White years. House. You were not done with it. <laughs> yo, we need, yo, we needed to remodel that bitch anyway. We were like, fuck, we'll just move it to Washington. You, you did us a favor. 
<laughs> and you know the White House was burned down because some Canadian was trying to keep an American warm with like a campfire and it just got out of hand and like yeah. a spark flew. I like, would say it was just politeness. Yeah, I mean, oh, we yeah. thought your president would be warm. And the dude's like, sorry. Or sorry. <laughs> How do you say it? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, uh, the, that chick who was here tonight, sorry. Uh, that's <laughs> how we say sorry. <laughs> yeah, stop putting a fucking you in your goddamn sorries, all right? No, no, I'm, I'm sorry. S O R R Y. You guys say sorry. S A W R Y. No, nah, that depends say on what right. part of America you're from. Say it wrong. Uh, well, at least Brock is, uh, and Mark here. It's sorry. That, that, Yo, that's I'm going I'm to I'm have everybody calling him Barakas. Let me, let me Barakas. just point out to you when it comes to language, there's a lot of shit in a lot of regions in fucking English countries where words are mispronounced consistently. Do you know why that is? Because a long time ago, no one fucking corrected them. For God's no, sakes, there no, are people it's not. in the no, not. that say warsh. <laughs> well, warsh. no, yeah. yeah. Uh, there, there's a lot of that shit. But uh, with, with, the, with the whole fucking uh, uh, about thing, uh, I get that. It's a boot. Uh, you guys, ha you guys have the proper pronunciation on a boat. Uh, when I'm not thinking about it, and I say it, uh, it's a lot closer to a boat. I, I'm uh, sorry. Can I point out uh, that well, well, is with like sorry, the motherfucker on the stream right now. Is that what? Pickle is the oh, he just fucking took his camera off. But through this whole conversation, Pickle has been the funniest motherfucker in this whole stream. Has anybody been watching Pickle? No, no, I haven't. No, not a single one of us. <laughs> no, because he's not making any fucking noise. If he made noise, I know, but he's he's being funny. So no, I just have to point that out. With, with with the word sorry, we <laughs> say it right. It's got an O R sound, like like no. or with, sorry, with that sorry, extra sorry, R sorry, to make to, to make sure. Oh, so, uh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, no, no it, it, with it, it, it's so it's sorry, it's not sorry. No, it's sorry because of the double R makes the fucking O more pronounced. That's the, how the O works. makes uh, the, the extra R ensures yeah. that the O is uh, well, what do you say when you see a stop I can't sign? Remember which. You don't say stop, you no, say stop you don't, with you the don't because you don't because it doesn't have the E. No, this is the, why an I'm extra R, an extra R though. Right, but it's always an o, and it makes the same. It makes the same R uh, sound. Oh, uh, well, look, 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 look at look uh, at look at the Cop. last name Or. Cop. Look at the last name Or. O R R. It is Or. It is not R. It's, it's or. or. Yeah. Sorry. L like sorry. Okay. Well, think think about it like this. If you do S O R E, you have the word sore. Correct. Sore, yeah. Okay, now, stop fucking arguing about language because, like I just pointed out, when it comes to the English language, there's way too many fucked up pronunciations for a lot of shit. No, for there's God's not. Sakes, they're, they're good pronunciations. Proper because, like, pronunciation in the that's way. How you know people. where you are? There's yeah, proper that's how you pronunciation, know where you and then there's fucking goddamn pronunciation. We we actually stopped giving a shit about a long oh, yeah. time ago. Oh uh, the, the, yeah, there's dialect shit. Yeah, uh, dialect. Well, uh, well, when you can't spring up, uh, how, how we say about, uh, you're right. When you bring up uh, how how we say sorry, you're wrong. We're saying you know, it the right that's, way. That's like, that's like that's like we say crick around here instead of creek, right? And you know we be fucking like there's there's fuck tons of words like out in Philadelphia they don't call it soda they call it pop. My uh, grandma says Washington. Yeah, 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 yeah. down in Washington. Wrong. Down in Washington. No fucking wrong right now. Tell her to stop putting R's where they don't belong. You know, it's, it's like the incredible. It's it's like the Incredible Hulk. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, it, chaos it can... in the chat says, "How do you pronounce worry?" Obviously, not like sorry or sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> worry. <laughs> worry is the only word that everybody universally says the same way. What about what about aluminum? Can we uh, all just it, agree it, that it, British it's, it's people aluminum for me? Wrong. Uh, Br British people say al uh, aluminium. Uh, oh, yeah. it, it, it's fucking aluminum. They also say pedophile instead of pedophile. Oh, uh, well, pedophile. which is also really weird to me. Like, uh, technically, uh, if you just put pedo by itself, it is pedo. Uh, once you attach pedophile? that file, it should be pedophile. 
Yeah, I don't know. It's yo, I like dialects. Your dialects are cool as shit. I'm not I don't get mad at how anybody pronounces stuff. Rockus is just mad, you know what I'm saying? Because you know no, I, get, I get pissed off when it comes to the Bostonians and the fucking other people in the northeast area that's the ones who fucking say Warsh, you need to stop that shit. If you're putting an R in words that don't have R's in them, like Grandpa, you can go fuck yourself. You know what? I'm gonna have to say, R's entirely. I'm gonna have to defend Grandma Como and say fuck you, Brockas. She can yeah. fuck however she wants. Yeah, now, I, I now, will be the only one to fuck Grandma Como, Mark. <laughs> Do not tie Brockus into this. I will be the only one who fucks your grandmother, mother. Actually, your I mother's. I said defend my mother. grandma. I didn't say fuck my grandma. Oh, see, I completely heard fuck. I've had your grandmother on my mind for a long time. Stick to Brockus's <laughs> mom, all right? Like, no, no, yeah, can, can, we, can, we, can, we, can we change his name to Baracus? Just because just, no. you know, it's funny. But I, I, I did, I did want to... Can we call him BS Baracus? Can we call him Baracus? Like, yeah, because it's funny as fuck. BS no, the, the other day... Hey, uh, yeah, you, you, uh, you with the... Uh, uh, yeah, you with the outdated uh, Riley J. Dennis avatar. <laughs> Pickle. <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> uh, whoa, whoa, what the fuck was uh, the channel you were talking about? We already talked about them. No, that, that was the one Pickle talked about. Oh, oh, I thought you were making a joke about Pickle. All right. No, uh, yeah, no, oh, uh, my I, channel? I, I, I my actually channel? met Mark. My oh, channel. my channel is Mr. Boffa Cake. Uh, who, who the fuck is Mr. Boffa Cake? Uh, I bet you. What does he do? So, uh, unlike, unlike your guys' channel, we had the guest of Vin and Sori, and they were awesome, so we got to know them. And everybody knows who fucking Roy and Lacey are. But nobody has heard of Mr. Boffa Cake. And if you had to put him in a genre, I would put him in the same genre as the angry video game nerd. But he is uh, he's my favorite of all the like old school game reviewers. This guy is fucking hilarious. Um, every line he says is a joke. His edits are awesome. He does reviews of games that nobody else that like None of the other like mainstream people do um, like horrible fucking games, and some good games too. But uh, they're all old school, like Sega, fucking Super Nintendo games and shit. And I don't know, dude. Just the guy is hilarious. I found him by watching Mr. Repsion. This was a long time ago, so don't judge me. Oh, you're being judged. Oh, I used to watch Steve Shives too. You want to judge me now? Yeah. All right, yo, Tyro, Tyro is it, it, yo. We say laboratory, you know. I mean, just because we're lazy, just like we say laboratory, but it's supposed to be laboratory, right? So it's there wouldn't be an A before the R. Oh uh, no, well we got uh, we got before that we got chaos asking uh, roof or rough, uh, roof, uh, roof. Uh, schedule roof. or schedule, uh, schedule, schedule, uh, right. advertisement or advertisement, advertisement. We're not harassment or harassment. Harassment. We call it we call it harassment around here. We call it Sunday. <laughs> we call it and, uh, a financial or financial? Uh, financial. Uh, all all the basic proper pronunci pronunciations of words, just minus the ones that my mouth can't properly say. I know a lot of people that say rough. Instead of roof. Yeah, my grandma does that shit. That's no, no, I mean, uh, for, for a little while, uh, until I started trying to control my accent to a degree, we, uh, there, there'd be certain words like car. Uh, I used to pronounce as uh, cur. Uh, why, man? Like, why would you Why would you try to control that shit, man? Uh, because I hated the way it sounded. Uh, car is not a cur. Uh, cur is a different word. But I'm saying that like kind of like the rough every day. I don't know, like I think it, I think it's a, it's a beautiful thing to be from somewhere. You know what I mean? Like you know, like fucking like have that that accent of where you come from. Kind of like I don't know, it sets you apart from other individuals. So like it's like you're representative. That, 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 that sounds yeah. fucking great because you have one of those accents where where it sounds good. <laughs> uh, I come no. from fucking Canada. If I can erase the fucking accent, I'm gonna do it. 
Nah, man. Like y'all, we all like hearing Jordan Peterson speak, and he's super Canadian. Yeah, uh, Jordan Peterson sounds like fucking Kermit the Frog. <laughs> yeah, but he's still fucking. Everyone just, loves man. Kermit the fucking. No, frog, no, no nobody enjoys like fuck Kermit the Frog. Jordan Peterson speak. We all uh, like there might be people that, that agree with his viewpoints or people that uh, want to listen so they can laugh. Nobody is sitting there going, yes, this is a good voice. If someone took a Kermit the Frog puppet and took like Jordan Peterson's videos and then it, Kermit the Frog it would be entertaining with Jordan Peterson, it would blow up like gangbusters. Yeah. yeah, that I would watch. Right? Like all of Jordan Peterson's speeches, but it's Kermit the Frog sitting on a log in the swamp telling it to you. Yeah, my two like, biggest videos are like Jordan Peterson and uh, Chris Rock. Like if I have Chris Rock video, I got like 30,000 views on And I got like a fucking Jordan Peterson video. I think I got like 7,000 views on You know what I mean? People like Jordan Peterson. They like hearing him talk. You know, he's making Ken, uh, he's uh, making, he's uh, making Kanaka stand cool again. Anybody who likes hearing Jordan Peterson talk is either doing it because they agree with his uh, opinions or because they want to mock him. Nobody is sitting there enjoying the sounds coming into their ears. I kind of I, like, I think it's I pretty like cool. I Jordan Peterson talk, and there are a hell of a lot of opinions that I don't like of his. But, I mean, there are plenty of opinions that I do like of his. His stance on yeah, well, 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 is well, one Mark, of them. Well, well, well. Oh, what do you think of his voice? Uh, his voice, I, I mean, there were, like, one, it's unique. All right? Hey, you at least got to give him that. It is, except for Kermit the Frog, uh, Ray Romano. Well, he doesn't uh, sound anything like Ray uh, Romano. I'm not even I was I was about to try to do it, but immediately changed my mind. <laughs> Nah, he's just got one of those stupid nasally voices where you yeah. you, you, you extend vowels for some reason. I well, look, maybe you wouldn't pay to have to have him read a book on tape and shit, but but it's, I, I I actually might pay for the actually. He he people people like the way he talks, not not because of the sound of his voice but he the cadence. he's he's very good at speaking, which i am not but uh no, no, he, he, yes he's good at telling his story he's good at getting his point across and people like yeah people like to hear him talk yeah, he certainly cadence. has one of those yeah. voices where he can sit and go like this and give you all the facts in a nice timely vaguely rhythmic fashion i i used to when i was but a kid, he's also got a voice where it sounds like he's going so uh while we're talking about whether or not um lobsters are able to procreate sexually and or asexually um we are going to have to cover the politics of uh, it's uh cadence can only make up for so much I mean, I have a terrible voice. He's got a worse one, uh, you know. No, nah, man. Like, I, yo, look. Okay, so here, here's here's what I'm saying. Okay, I love culture. Like, I, I think. Okay, so America is not so much a melting pot as it is like a uh, fucking like like a BYOB picnic. You know what I'm saying? Like, fucking everybody bring your own shit. And if everybody brings like a dish to a picnic, I forget what the fuck they call that shit. But it's, there's a word Not for like it. Huh? Yeah, potluck. There we go. It's like a potluck picnic, right? And if everybody sounds the same, you know what I mean? Everybody acts the same and everybody has the same type of fucking shit. It, it's going to be a shitty picnic, you know what I mean? Because everybody's just going to bring potato salad. And that's not what everybody wants to eat. Motherfuckers want burgers and dogs and kraut and fucking, you know, baked beans and fried chicken and, you know, watermelon and whatever the case, whoever the fuck's bringing what, you know, and that culture is what's going to fucking like, you know, save you and be you know, I mean, the best part of America, that's what you're adding as a person. That's what you're adding as a as a people. That's what you're adding as a country, as a culture. When you come here, as you fucking as you're bringing it in. And, and that, that's beautiful. Not everybody should just be some prototypical fucking newsroom reading motherfucker. That's a that's a stupid way to fucking be. I hate that shit. Like, I don't like the ideology that one day we're all just be we're all be a nice brown shade as Joe Rogan. Like, fuck Joe Rogan's bullshit. You know, what I mean, I'm, I'm not about that. Like. 
be who you are. You know, I mean, be what your mama made you. You know what I mean? And I'm gonna love you for it. You know what I mean? Because I like you for who the fuck you are and what the fuck you are and what you're bringing to the table, regardless of how you sound. Well, you know what I mean, hold on, hold on, hold on. You don't like Joe Rogan? I, I don't like his. I don't like that dumb shit of fucking. We're all gonna fucking be a nice brown color someday. That that every like almost every show he's like, oh, everybody gotta be so tribal. I'm like, bitch, you're a fucking Italian from Boston. Like, shut up, you little fucking bitch. You know, what I mean, if you hadn't been built in that fucking fabric and that cloth of who the fuck you were, you would have never been shit in your whole fucking life. So eat a fucking dick. You come from fucking men who conquered the world at one point. Stop fucking being embarrassed about what you are and stop worrying about fucking offending other people about whether or not they're good enough to hang with you. You know, I mean, they should want to rise themselves up instead of fucking you standing there lowering yourself down and saying, it's okay that my daughter's going to get knocked up by a whole bunch of fucking Moulinians and shit. Like, eat a dick with that bullshit. Man, tell if me I, I, really if, 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 if I knew what Mulian Mulian meant, uh, I might I might have context for what you said there. <laughs> the, the, the the fuck is a Mulian? Black person, a black person. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. Uh, okay. <laughs> Sounds like you have a lot of hate for a guy who has like a successful business. And that's, that's not that's not that's not the situation. I just I just don't like that stance. I like the majority of what he does. I just don't. I hate that stance about him. I hate that shit. And I'm, that's that's a very California thought pattern, to where you know like oh we're not going to be about where we came from. We're about being Californians now. Right. Fucking everybody wants to be Fuck the same. Fuck that! I hate that yeah. shit about this state, man. I fucking goddamn. Hate this state. Well, you, well, you're like everybody mispronounces everything. Although, no, nah, like a fucking we pronounce it how we pronounce it. Like I call oh, you no. Baracus. You know, I, mean? I think it's fucking funny and it sounds way better that way to me. I, I I'm basing it off of the fact that uh, for for a very long time I never understood uh, why there were different uh, pronunciations for different words and stuff like that. When you take into consideration the area that uh, English was born and and, and bred in, it, you know, the UK and all that stuff. That's where English comes from, essentially. And it eventually yes, made it to but we here. have dictionaries now. No, I understand that. We I have understand with that. My, pronunciations printed in them. There, my, there, there have been decided pronunciations for words. The point I was trying to make, and what, one of the things that drives me crazy when it comes to the English language is I understand that there's different dialects, and I understand there's different accents to a, a variety of different words, but... What drives me nuts is when people will put letters in shit that don't need to have, like Warsh. Like I have a Baracus. problem when they fucking say that. That is him being a dick on purpose because he accidentally said it Baracus one time and he was just like, fuck it, I'm going to roll with it. So I don't give a shit about that. No, that's, that's technically intentional. I'm talking about the unintentional fucking mispronunciations of words like Wash. What well, that's They're a dialect. A R in the fucking no, it's not. It's it someone to correct a gr an entire town of people, and it just spread like wildfire. That's how shit like that gets started. You're not it's correcting dialect, people. The dialect of Dutch, dude. That's what the fuck it is. I don't give two shits about that, man. Like, look, that's fine. Like, yeah, there, there, was, that, there, was this, there was this. There was this. There was this half Italian, half uh, Pennsylvania Dutch dude I used to work with. I hated this motherfucker with a passion, right? His name was uh, Fiori Yori Yori Yo. Is what the fuck we called him, right? But he'd walk around all day. He go, we go fuck, right? You know what I'm saying when he said fuck, because like that's how the fuck. You know what I mean? The Pennsylvania Dutch pronounce it. You know what I mean? And at the same time, he was a guinea, so like he still like had like the the guinea mannerisms about him and shit. And you know. It's I like culture, you know, what I mean, and it's cool that we all have a different one and a different pronunciation for shit. And it's not a bad thing for people to say root wash or roof or fucking whatever they say, because the more you drill that out of people, like, for instance, I, Aiden know, um, no, I, 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 I hate to cut you off, Tom. We may be having a uh, uh, an old guest of the con stream join us. Uh, I've just received news. Uh, apparently, the con stream has been mentioned in its second court document oh shit <laughs> dude i'm a god legal shit bucket list crossed off but yeah, i mean uh, it's it's been uh it's been many months uh, at least eight or nine months uh since uh actually i think it's been over a year at this point uh since we were mentioned in our first court document a uh, custody case, um, not involving any of the hosts. I should point out. 
Uh, I've just received news that apparently we have been named in a second court document. I'm waiting to, <laughs> to, to get an explanation of what the fuck that's about, but uh, number two. Woohoo! Congratulations. <laughs> Somebody I, buy this man a cake. Is it the same fucker from the last one? Uh, I can't confirm or deny that, Brockus, because I'm not sure how much he wants me to... Oh, he's here. So, yes, it's the same fucker. Futter not... Explain this shit. What the God fuck? Damn it, Futter, you bastard. I don't know. Apparently, uh, you're just a big bully, Schmeckle. I'm a big... Uh, have I been named? Yes. Well, the your Twitter. The Cunstream Twitter. Uh, that the fuck did I say? It doesn't say. Okay, so uh, it's not the channel this time. It's my Twitter. Yes. Uh, hold on here. I'll bring up the thing, and then I'll just screen share. Uh, you, you got all like the names and shit blocked out, or? Uh, it's don't need the name blocked out on this one. Right there. Show it. I can't see it. Did me like? Oh, it was just sharing it. There we go. This before I present it. Oh, so she was the one who got the the stream account fucked. Oh, god damn it! See, we had thought it was fucking Sarah or Jacob. Hey, it turns out it was uh, it was Fodder Zax. Yes, Tanda. Jesus Christ! Wait, her name's Tanda on Twitter. Oh, okay. That's a gay name. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I would, uh, I would certainly like to see where that uh, report came from, uh, as far as Twitter account. Uh, but uh, what's this with us uh, being mentioned in another court document? Well, uh, uh, I will, 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 one second before you go on. Will honest, uh, Will Honest <laughs> says, uh, "Guess you owe, uh, you guys owe some people an apology." Uh, no, I never made it. I never made any statements about doing him uh, about him doing that. I made statements about the shit that he did objectively, visibly, publicly do. Is this that that, that was just an uh, an assumption that uh, that we had, not something we were public about. Uh, here, just yeah. Well, what's well, what, what's this fucking court document shit? <coughs> Oh, um, she's trying to take back one of the children. Not both, just one. Oh, she, she only wants... She only she, wants one. Yes. Uh, John Doe in the chat says, so in all, uh, in all intelligence, Schmeckle brings on the guy involved in the crazy acts. How many more court documents are you going for? John Doe, we are not <laughs> getting attacked in any of these documents. Um... Uh, our name's just being brought up against Futter. So, uh, yeah. Futter is free to do what Futter wants. Uh, I'm not protecting Futter. Futter can join and uh, get us pulled up as evidence how many, uh, however many times he wants. <laughs> hey, I'm not pulling you guys into it. No, uh, you're not. I'm not, not even uh, associated loosely with the cunt stream anymore. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, you have not been here for months upon months. Yeah, it, it's been a long fucking time. <laughs> well, I ended up doing this real world thing and getting a job, and like, so I can keep, so I could keep this thing called a roof over my head. A roof, a roof. If I'm if if I'm catching the concept properly, um, a part of parenting is putting one of those over your kids' heads, right? Yes. And uh, if I'm also remembering correctly, um, a part of parenting is not being fucked up on crack cocaine, right? 
Again, she says that I'm the one spreading that rumor. I believe every time it's brought up, I say I have no evidence, just assumptions. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah, if anything, uh, I will come flat out and, uh, and say. I'm the one who said that, yeah, based on uh, uh, not just me, many, many people. <laughs> but I, I do remember saying this. Uh, based on your behavior, yeah, you seem like you were probably fucked up uh, on some type of uh, like oh. serious drug. Uh, you're not smoking weed. You're not uh, popping some mushrooms or something. You're long-term fucked. Okay, I found the spot here. The respondent has previously partaken in exploiting the court matters online, some of which on a channel called, in quotation marks, The Cunt Stream, has since been shut down by Twitter, and of which the Edmonton Police Services had been contacted regarding this activity by the respondent. Oh, oh the Edmonton Police Services have been alerted to The Cunt Stream. Yes, the respondent has oh, made well, well, one, one, one second before you go on. Edmonton <laughs> police, uh, if you are listening. Did they contact the police over... No, Mark, Mark, uh, let, let me address the, the fine officers in the, in the Edmonton police. I have nothing insulting to say about you. You are people that have given your... Uh, your lives, at least for a period of time, uh, to protecting and serving. Don't become the fucking UK police. I know we're stuck here in Canada. I know we got all this bullshit going on. Don't become a type of police force that's widely mocked. You're going to make us look bad as Canadians, and you're going to make yourself look bad as just a useless fucking force. Um, don't become, uh, don't become the fucking uh, the UK fucking <laughs> cybercrime unit. Uh, it's okay to have a cybercrime unit. Just don't, don't make that your police force. You know. Okay. How about this? The respondent has made numerous false claims in videos online, stating that the applicant is a uh, in quotation marks prostitute. Hey, you that. did not say that. You said she was a hoe. There's a difference. <laughs> and actually, the funny thing well, is... There, there is. Uh, when you get uh, statements like that, uh, it's not just uh, denotation. Uh, it's connotation as well, right? Well, uh, uh, I... As far as denotation goes, uh, a hoe is a whore. Uh, is a prostitute. Is a chick who sells her body for sex. As far as connotations go, a hoe is a slut, not a whore. Actually, just to preface this, and this is the first time I've mentioned this online, I have a former best friend. Who the and... fuck is near a train? <laughs> God damn it. God damn it, Baracus. <clears throat> there are no trains in my fucking area. You fuck off right now. <laughs> uh, Ace of Skull has, has a good point. So who's the poor fucking soul at Edmonton Police Service that's tasked to watch all the fucking cut stream streams? Uh, uh, you know what, you poor motherfucker. Uh, it might be Joshua Janice. It might be Tiro and Coate. It might be Will fucking Honorless. Uh, it could be fucking Victor Rant. Any of you cunts. Actually, what is really funny, uh, you remember a few months ago... Trippy, did you know he was a cop? No, the cop that she... Because she tried withholding kids. So I had to call the cops to get my kids back. And oh, she went on about the cunt stream. No and you... the cop actually knew who the cunt stream was. Whoa, oh, what? Yeah. He laughed. He was like a fan. Shit! <laughs> <laughs> we got cops watching us! I, uh, say, I don't know nothing about what the white YouTuber did behind the Arby's back in 1990. Those two little girls after he used the fucking LSD lollipops to get him in the fucking van. I don't know anything about any of that shit, and my pinky is up in the air. Damn it, white. And by, by the way, uh, if you're watching, officer, uh, don't watch like two streams. Of, uh, don't watch the one called Brockus versus. Yeah, don't, 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 uh, 
I don't. I don't need people. Just, 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 just skip that one. I don't need. I don't need people <laughs> asking me a bunch of questions. It's just you know. Yeah. No. So apparently, I made claims that she's a prostitute. And then it says, and the applicant does, <coughs> etc., harming my reputation and otherwise. Attached as marked Exhibit B, See, I, I told you panels was being done to bully others. Yeah, that was uh, that was your Twitter. Oh, that would be the. Oh, uh, what, what? Canadian what? internet, everyone. Yep. Twitter, please. Sorry, your mic just internet? shit the bed there, Schmeckle. I, I don't know if you're talking, but... You ain't I'm there. not speaking. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I don't even like Brad. Like, why, why the fuck are we involved in child custody disputes here in the country? I, I just, I gotta ask that question. Uh, because my ex is crazy. This man, look, I think it's your fucking bro, fault for telling the broad your own not. fucking YouTube doing shit. Say that again. It's your fault. You should not be telling these broads what you be doing on YouTube. Bitches don't need to be knowing about our goddamn business. No, he, he didn't tell us shit. Gary. All right. Well, I'm assume Smeckle said I'm right. Right. So what no. I'm saying is, is that you know what I mean like you should not be telling broads about your business. Don't even let them ask you about your business. All right, because that's how the hell gangsters handle things. <laughs> no, she found out about the YouTube channel when I had to throw her out, and she wouldn't leave my deck, and she was trying to trash it. And I realized that I had a computer facing my deck. So I just hit go live and left it. Again, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, look, seriously, don't be telling broads about your business. And don't be putting your personal business on the motherfucking internet. It may seem funny for the second, but it is not that fucking funny. You know what I mean? Like, you see where you are right now? You know what I mean? Because it's just shitting where you eat. Don't be mixing money in motherfucking bitches. You know what I mean? Oh, I know what you're saying, but no, I'm... You mix but money in bitches. The whole story. This is. I, I don't want to hear the whole story. All right, because yeah, look, we only play we only playing classy felonies around here, and this sounds like a trailer park felony. That's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> and besides, man, I now have to represent a brand, and I cannot be involved in myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're gonna put a dark stain on that fucking name. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like hanging out here, but we can't be over here talking about, you know what I'm saying, how Baracus likes to hang out in front of his ex-girlfriend's house and drink beer while he, you know what I mean, plays with himself furiously to fucking Pokemon videos. We can't be on this all types of crazy ass nonsense that y'all be doing. Do you believe in ghosts? Do I believe in ghosts? Yeah. Yeah, I believe in ghosts. Okay. Best That's... fucking adult. Of course. <laughs> he's an adult, of course he <laughs> believes in ghosts. Your brain. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, I'm assume I'm assume he's like he's he's hey, he's in a positive manner into what we are saying right now. So what's going on <laughs> yeah. with ghosts? Oh, nothing, nothing. I was just seeing if you like really represented your new brand. Yeah, That's man. I believe in variety. ghosts. Oh, dude, look here, man. Fright supremacy is the right supremacy. Over on <laughs> Golf City. <laughs> the fright yeah, time is the right time. Yeah, we all we praise the great blue whale, Ahud Adazine. Oh, I, I, I have to. You know what I'm saying? Because I represent Get the the and Queen yeah. Worship Lord Sniggles. <laughs> no, he know what rinses you're about. and he repeats. to get some gear for Golf City. Yo, make sure golf.gear.com. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all check that shit out. Like, yo. <laughs> I'm representing a brand right now. All right. You're misrepresenting I'm, a brand right now. I don't want to hear your bullshit. Shut your mouth, Baracus, for fuck's sake. God damn it. I'm going to put you back over there versus Sub Zero again. Keep fucking around. By the way, that is golf gear.com for all your golf city needs. Yeah, man. Get 40% more pussy immediately. Exactly. You you want to get your dick wet? Golfgear.net. Yeah, you go over there. You <laughs> <buy a fucking laughs> 
Oh man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like we get it done. I'm representing a brand right now. You know, <laughs> see, look, I didn't do this the whole goddamn time. You know what I mean? Like the whole fucking time, I didn't say golfdogear.com. Like, yo, I gotta fucking, you know what I mean? Like, get used to doing no, things. I, 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 I You're gonna send people the wrong yeah. website, bro. <laughs> That's misrepresenting well, your label. Wait, you gotta wait, get that shit down. Gotta send some back. Uh, <laughs> Can't hear a fucking word you're saying, bro. Why <laughs> internet cutting out or is that Schmeckles? That's Schmeckles. What Snickles? Pieces of talk. I don't know. Sorry, Schmeckles. You're causing mad airtime. Like yo, somebody needs to send Smackle the TTS program. Man, Smackle, dude, this is what happens when you live in Canada, where they have free healthcare and internet. It's bullshit. All right, free market is the best way to go. That is the way of the motherfucking whale, the great Ahut Alazin. All right, he tells us the we free market. All right, right. Those maple trees and moose. <laughs> Who the fuck in in Canada gets free internet? We got. I don't know. I'm assuming there's social. I bet you I Justin know. Trudeau does. They're communists up there in Canada. I don't know shit about what they do. You know what I mean? I know they got maple syrup, and that's about it. That's all I know really about my whole fucking about Canada. Like, there's like two cities up there. Yeah, man. The Canuckistanis, uh, they'd be driving trucks apiece, incels be running people over on the fucking sidewalks. Dude, Canadian uh, Muslims, I bet, drive Zambonis apiece. I'm waiting for the first fucking kill. Oh, dude, that's going to be like the slowest death ever. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna happen though. Yo, how are you gonna wear your work shirt in the motherfucking stream there, pickle? Cause I'm at work. He looks like a Ghostbuster. Oh, word. Yo, man, dude, I'm like legit, like off stream. Like you need to hop in my Discord server and tell me where you work, cause I bet you I've delivered freight to you before. Possible. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. You look, you look real fucking familiar on some serious shit. I bet you. I, I next don't time think I you delivered freight here. But we don't accept deliveries here. You don't like, do you have deliveries going out? We have stuff that leaves, yeah. That's what I'm saying. I might have picked up a load. I don't know. I don't know where the fuck you work at. I don't know what the situation we'll off off stream, we'll figure it out. I'm not gonna dox you or your workplace right now, and that's not positive. You know what I mean? Because right. we're only playing classy felonies and we're talking about security right. work. You know, that's how shit operates. You know. <laughs> Golf.gear.com. I go. <laughs> Yo, Baracus. Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna help out your boy over there, man? Oh boy. For fuck's sake. Your Canadian friend who has been blocked from the fucking internet by Justin Trudeau and his communism. No, he wasn't not from Justin Trudeau. Right? Would have been the Edmonton Police Service. Justin Trudeau was just like, is Schmeckle fucking on again? Jesus. And he hit the button. And now Schmeckle's gone. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, he's like, he's getting more shine than me right now. Like, <laughs> yeah. he, he, I think he that's the only time like, every fucking day with this guy. Yo, look, he's we are trying to, look, man, y'all need to hit the stream lab super chat button. You know what I'm saying? We're trying to get these guys some real internet and computers and stuff. You know what I mean? Hook them up on the American <laughs> system. You know what I mean? It's going to cost us some serious amounts of bread. So y'all better start donating the shit out of some money right now. Cause we're going to have to run Comcast lines up there to help these motherfuckers out. You know, I don't think the Wi-Fi is going to cover it. Oh, are you getting a blowjob or something? No, I'm laughing because typically we get better internet speeds than you guys do. What are you saying? You're in Canada. You're in I Canada. got Google Fiber, motherfucker. You're not beating no, no, me. No, no, no. no. Actually, no. What I just said that's, that's actually uh, very untrue. Um, there were several times where other YouTubers from other countries looked it up. Canada has slower. Uh, 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 I, I I would like to make very clear that I would never promote suicide, but I would, for anybody that works at the suicide prevention hall, if you get a call and it's from somebody who works for Rogers, hang up. <laughs> Who the fuck is Rogers? Is, 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 is that, is, Rogers yo. is the only fucking internet company that I can get in this area, and oh, they no. have been used for of a fucking decade. <laughs> like, no wonder your shit is bullshit. You got your shit from Roy Rogers. Them niggas make hamburgers. They don't do internet. For fuck's sake. 
<laughs> you are to talking to the side hotline, <laughs> and you get a call. And <laughs> really <laughs> this cup called Rogers fucking <laughs> damn they deserve. <laughs> Holy shit! This, cool. this, is, this, is, yo, this is the best shit ever. You are unintentionally being way funnier than you normally are because it keeps cutting you off while you're trying to tell somebody to kill themselves. Like, yo, this is fucking great. It's like self censoring, <laughs> right? Like tell anybody notice- to kill themselves, I tell them to stop. <laughs> Did he just say he didn't tell them to stop? I yes. don't know what the fuck he said. He said some shit. I don't know. He's basically saying he's not telling anyone to actually kill themselves. He's just trying to tell people to not stop them. <laughs> he's saying let these motherfuckers die. Like, for fuck's sake. Hey, so if the- <laughs> Justin hey, Trudeau hey. has got you under his finger right now. He just keeps pushing that button every, like, three seconds every time you talk. Oh. <laughs> That's because he's no. He, uh, Rogers is coming with some fucking Justin Trudeau racket. He's protecting him. He's sitting there. He's going, "Hey, you know what? Fuck everybody up with the fucking internet, and then I'll give you, uh, I don't know, like my sperm, and you can raise a little mini Justin." Uh, I don't know how you form it. No, nah, I think I think the problem is that you're getting more shine than him right now. At the moment, you got twenty more people listening to him, listening to you than he does. So he just keeps cutting you the fuck off. I got you, man. You're a great conversationalist at the moment. You know what I'm saying? This is the best conversation I ever had, too. I know you're going to give me all the money from the stream tonight? Yo, that is positive, dude. Thank you very much. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce at least two of the letters in there. <laughs> Carl. <laughs> oh, yo, this shit's hilarious. All right, well, guys, I'm really sorry. Look at the fucking uh, new tower. I, I'm going to have to call it a night tonight, guys. All I'm right, really, man. really nice sorry. You. But uh, promise me you'll play a clip of Mr. Baffa Cake. Go, Mr. Baffa Cake. Everybody go sub to Mr. Baffa Cake. I'm he not is this shit. great. I really wish we could have. Uh... Sorry, I just uh, I got shit I got to do in the morning. So, uh... All right, man, we'll talk to you then. Enjoy your yeah. day. Have a good night, guys. Thank you for having me on, Schmeckle. Peace and chicken grease, my brother. Chicken grease. I love that movie. (laughs) I could sing that whole song from the beginning of that shit. I don't even remember what movie that's from. Somebody told me that shit the other day, and I just started saying it again because it's It's awesome. from the past. It it was the past, and I think the song he's referring to is the very beginning song. Mm Mm-hmm. Got you. You got to love the past, man. John Leguizamo. I actually did, I did really like the past. It's one of my uh, my hey, guilty Brock pleasures it. when it comes to comedy movies. Um, my favorite guilty pleasure comedy movie. Have you seen Strange Wilderness? If you haven't, go fucking see it. It's the funniest thing ever. But uh, have a good night, everybody. Have a good night, chat. And uh, everyone go sub to Mr. Baffa Cake. And Schmeckle. Or at least promise me you'll play at least a clip of one of his videos for the chat. I don't think I can. My internet ain't holding up so well. <laughs> That's sad. Well, everyone go sub to Mr. Baffa Cake or at least watch a video of his because he's worth it. All right. Later, guys. Later. later. Roger, the, not a friend you want. Yeah, fuck Bro, Roy Roger. Uh, uh, dude, the fucking outro thing. <laughs> All right, it looks like we're going to be uh, shutting this shit down. Tonight, of course, we were talking about the uh, the various channels that we are fans of on the uh, Blackman button. And uh, tonight's uh, um, channels we specifically talked about were Vin and Sorry, uh, Very Nilly Viral, and Mr. Baffa Cake, uh, presented by both uh, by Schmeckle. Uh, uh, full Metal Pickle, God damn it, And, and fucking... Uh, I'm sorry, it was just it was fucking just escaping my brain. And Mark Como tonight we had all three of them, uh, plus myself and Tom P and a special guest, I suppose. Towards the end, when, when some crazy shit started going down, Futter Nut. Yo, I'm mad I missed the whole conversation about my favorite YouTubers because like yo, I always wanted to do that shit, but 
Like, oh, you got to catch uh, copyright uh, uh, strikes. Uh, uh, the fuck on next week. You do it every week. Yeah, yeah. Rotating as uh, guests and whatnot. Mm, got you. All right. Yo, man, but anyway, this has been Pinoid Live. You know what I'm saying? Y'all like, share, and subscribe to the motherfucking channel. Enjoy your motherfucking selves. You know what I mean? I'm here with motherfucking Brock. It's the Full Metal Pickle. Goddamn motherfucking the Futter Nut. We have Mark Como on and motherfucking, of course, our man, the motherfucking man of the hour, the dude with no fucking internet because he buys his shit from a goddamn fast food restaurant called Roy Rogers. Motherfucking <laughs> the Smeckle. Yo, peace and chicken the, grease, motherfuckers. Shut this bitch the fuck down. Shut the fuck up. Tune in at 5 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time or uh, 8 a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time for a uh, new show that uh, Lo-Fi and I are going to be doing called International Coffee, where we are going to basically be streaming at a time where people overseas are pretty much actually awake. That's, that's it. That's it, guys. Get the fuck out. <laughs> hit the button, the internet, stupid shit. He hit, hit, hit stop. He he probably hit the button like that. Gear dot You know what I'm saying? Golf dot Why do you keep doing that? No, he probably hit the button and it's just lag. It's like super lagging. It's like sh shutting stream down, but it's just not shutting anything down. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, he didn't even let him hit the button. This computer is completely fried right now. Like yo, <laughs> he's probably cussing up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> it's like on the other side, you fucking assholes, you piece of shit, Rogers employees, fuck you all. I hate you so much. <laughs> <clears throat> I hope your kids don't learn how to read. I hope your mom catches butt cancer. <laughs> I hope you all die in a fiery fucking train crash. I love when this shit's supposed to fucking end and it just doesn't because it's just funny. God damn it, I got you. <laughs> Yo, remember, come check me out on Golf City. You know what I'm saying? Every Thursday at motherfucking 10 o'clock, we be getting it to fuck in. You know what I mean? Fucking check me out on P. Noy motherfucking live. The Rumble Room fucking Saturday night, 10 o'clock on Accelerate's fucking channel. And as always, every Saturday and Sunday morning, I do motherfucking the church and Jesus Christ is not a bitch made nigga. Like, yo. <laughs> So we got a bubble. third Schmeckle in here. A third Schmeckle has joined. Third Schmeckle, hit the button. End this shit. <laughs> <laughs> How many Schmeckles does it take to end a stream? Yeah, this is going to be the never-ending stream because he's just lagging the fuck out of his computer. We've already <laughs> had like three of those this year, man. It, it was fucking ridiculous. His internet went so bad that like he couldn't end shit. It booted him out of the fucking Hangouts, wouldn't let him back on. So it just... No, it, it's, it's fucking ridiculous. It. I am honestly considering reaching out to these uh, other uh, big companies and offering, hey, uh, I will help you raise the fucking money. I will reach out to both locals who want to actually have internet access and uh, fucking uh, other Canadians who just want to see Rogers fail a little bit. Yo, uh, I'm honestly considering help helping them raise the fucking money to, to build a fucking tower uh, so that, uh, you know, internet works around here and Rogers gets fucked over a little. Man, look, as I said, like, maybe you should, like, help them build a satellite or something. You, you should, like, take a good course on satellite building and just build your own no, shit. I, 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 I'm, I'm not helping Rogers. I, I will put effort into helping one of the other companies come in to no, no. fuck over Rogers, but they've sure. gone half a fucking decade uh, hey, uh, providing me with shit service. Schmeckle, just seeing how shitty your internet is, check out ExploreNet. It's hey, that, that's the thing. Hey, it, uh, it doesn't work around here. We only have Rogers it's, and then smaller companies that use Rogers Towers. No, it's satellite internet. It does not use cellular. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it might be worth looking into. Anyway, oh, yo, do you we're going to shut this shit the fuck down. Yeah, we got Verizon around here. Yo, you, if you have Verizon, oh, you should get a tag. Uh, no, sorry, yeah, well, we, we got Verizon in Canada. Uh, the only company I can get where I live uh, is Rogers or smaller companies that use Rogers No, no, towers. no, no, no. I'm saying, I'm saying if you get like a Verizon like tablet or phone, you can just use the fucking mobile Wi-Fi connection to hook it up to your computer. 
that might be looking at you uh, worth looking into but anyway we're gonna we're gonna shut the fuck uh shut the fuck down uh, uh tonight we had all those people uh brock has said before fuck rogers all this shit about cleaning yourself sniggles etc rinse and repeat mainly fuck rogers